cool. And uh, there we go. Let's see. Good. All right. Hold, 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 hold. Let's see. Hello, everybody. If there isn't everybody for me to be saying hello to. Huh. Okay. There we go. And it's up and it's live. And now I get to link the video. Let me just pop that sucker up on Twitter. And I like that it got the thumbnail right on the first time. It doesn't always do that. And a paste. Okay, so, hello everybody. Um, whew, this is going to be just me today. You, you, get the, you get the solo red energy. Always me at my absolutely most coherent. I'm sure we all agree. So, um, now I know I swore a little oath that I wasn't gonna do any exploring and I'm not, not gonna do that. I'm holding to it, but See, the thing about this game is it kind of nerfs you real bad right out the gate. Um, and uh, I've been playing around on my other file where I've already won the game and I'm just continuing on to slowly inch my way towards 100% one shrine and cave at a time. Uh, and I've gotten a little too complacent. I've gotten too used to having like armor sets and weapons that aren't crap and uh, lots and lots and lots of hearts. So... So my cunning scheme for today is that we are going to do just some some running around, some exploring, but not the not the official kind. We're not going to do any shrines. We're not going to get any of those tasty towers. I might mark things on the map if I think they're interesting. Um, but yeah, I just uh, I think this will be a fun little learning experience. Uh, and also the more important thing is I want to get more. Materials, you know, more stuff, monster bits, things I can use to make food and like better weapons. I just think that would be a good idea. So today is Tears of the Kingdom, the grocery run. <laughs> um, and as of last time we streamed this back in June, we got the paraglider, we finished the entire thing. Uh, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna pop down here and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see if this guy has any weapons we can take. What's up, man? And I have a fundraiser attached to this. Uh, there's information if you click on it. Um, but basically, you might have heard that uh, earlier today, the people that are trying to break the writer's strike were like, ha ha, these impoverished writers that we haven't been paying sufficiently can't afford to be out of work for this long. Ha 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 ha. Um, so their plan was uh, apparently that like, oh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna wait them out. Ha 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 ha, none of them probably have enough money saved up to still be housed by October. Which is cartoonishly evil, but also really fucking stupid for them to say. Cause like, as if writers were able to support themselves on the dismal salaries that they are currently striking in protest of, right? So like, this backfired hilariously, but I thought it would be nice to kick them while they're down a little bit and fundraise for the, um... This is for the, uh, let me just check. I think this is for the actors, actually, because of course, while the Writers Guild is uh, striking, a lot of other people are also out of work, and there's a, a, formerly the Actors Fund, I believe it's been renamed the Entertainment Fund, but it hasn't been renamed on uh, YouTube Giving. And uh, yeah, so if you wanna, if you wanna donate some to support the people who are currently out of work in support of the strike, that's what's going on right now. Uh, I just think you guys, you know, we all love an opportunity to stick it to the man. Ooh, what's in there? Oh, cool, a torch. I've literally, oh, I've literally never been in here. Look, it's a, it's a missing poster for us and Zelda. Huh. That's cute. All right, no, we can't do exploring. No discoveries. We're just going out to, to kill some stuff and get some bits. Ooh, we're already nearly at a thousand rays. That's awesome. It's a dangerous game I'm playing, but I do kind of want to, like, set some sort of donation goal. So, like, 
if we reach a certain thing, I have to go try and fight something well above my weight class, <laughs> you know. Um, I, oh my god, I'm so used to having three stamina wheels. <laughs> All my muscle memory is wrong. Oh, good, yes. Oh, oh my god, it's not even one hitting. This is disgraceful. Huh. Well, that's how you know you need the training, right? If the training feels bad. I'm not gonna fight a Gleok at one- th Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can barely fight a Gleok now! <laughs> I only just beat King Gleok- Or the- the Depths King Gleok, uh, like, yesterday. Oh, I gotta check how many arrows I have. I am always running out. Oh! That's pretty good, actually. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. What are you guys worried about? I think if we, like, run too close to a shrine and it gets marked on the map, I'm not gonna complain, but, um... Yeah, we're not gonna seek them out. We're not gonna do any. But I won't mind having a few warp points. There is a Depths King Gliok. It is, uh, under the Typhlo Ruins. I think. He's bad news, because it's a gloom thing, so all of its attacks do gloom damage. Hmm. No, they're bits. What have I done? All right, let the fire go out. Give me the bits. I need them. All right, cool. Well, it's possible that I uh, should be more judicious with my use of bomb arrows. <laughs> huh, this game is so fun, but there's so much of it. I've been doing like internal strategizing to try and figure out like what can we do for the stream and what will I literally not be able to do with the eight hours that we're gonna have you know um because my god there is so much game in this game that looks like a bad guy tent mm. blue is not done with the game yet he also isn't uh here right now so I'm not gonna I mean, I'm trying to be kind of cool with the with the no major plot spoilers, but you know how it is. Ah, <sighs> this game is so pretty. Okay. What do you think about Tears of the Kingdom's world building and how it seems to hate Breath of the Wild? I don't think that's an accurate assessment of Tears of the Kingdom's world building. Um, I think it's trying to be... Hmm. This looks difficult to sneak up on. I I feel like Tears of the Kingdom is trying very much to be its own thing. And this means that I think they were trying, and maybe overcorrected a little bit, to not rely too heavily on the stuff they'd established in Breath of the Wild. Ah, uh, there we go. Ooh, heck yeah. Um... So, basically, in Breath of the Wild, they established all of the Guardian stuff. Um, all the Sheikah tech. Oh. No, we'll let that guy out after we get all the stuff in these. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh my god, all my weapons are trash. <laughs> Alright, get out of here. Nope. Actually, I kind of wanted that one. That's fine. Um, anyway, so I am upset that the, the Divine Beasts aren't even, like, mentioned in the game. I wish they were. I understand why they're not. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so funny every time. Um, oh! Quickly! Before they notice me! Oh, fantastic. Okay, so that rock guy... Oh boy, oh boy. Ow, uh, rude. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh my god, I can't tell where I am. <laughs> Alright, a flawless escape. We are so good at this game. <laughs> Alright, we'll try that again in a minute. Um, I'm having weird amounts of trouble multitasking. It's almost like this game has gotten kind of hard for me. Um, but that's why we're here, you know? We're getting back into it getting our heads in the game. And one more for good 
measure. Two more for good measure. Okay. Anyway. So I wish the Divine Beasts were in the game. I think that would be really nice. I understand why they aren't. Um, you know, there's a lot of things. Ooh. Hmm. Nah. We'll, we'll re-strategize. We'll, we'll rethink what we're doing. Oh no, we hit 1k. I think I have to go charge in their guns blazing. Okay, hold on. Let's... Let's be smart about this. We've got some things that we can fuse. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Okay, that's not the worst. Do I have any better shields? Slightly. Okay, okay. All right, what else do we got? Mm. Uh, let's see, do I have anything sturdy? I do not. I'm so nerfed. That's fine. We're fine. It's cool. Um, but yeah, I think Tears of the Kingdom really wanted to give the impression that Hyrule had moved on from where it was at. And I like that. I think that's a really smart way to do it. Um, it creates the impression that, you know, it's been like six years in universe. Everyone has moved on. Everyone has successfully cleared out all the scary monsters and the divine beasts and all that jazz. Oh. Okay, there we go. things. Alright. Oh, hold on. Let's drop some, some of our worst shields and get some better ones. Oh, heck yeah! A whole one point increase? That's what I like to see. Nope. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all coming together. <laughs> Ow! Okay, hold on. Please hold. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, as I was saying, uh, I'm very good at this game. Ooh, hell yeah. Perfect. Super, super, just the bestest at this game. Everything is fine and normal. Oh, it's cool. We've got plenty of apples. Or rush rooms, which I need less. Great. I'm ready to take on the world. Ooh. Circle round and then. Come on, buddy. Come on. There we go. We're good. Everything's fine. Whew. And we can cook some stuff. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Having no armor and uh, not being able to get any more armor is making this interesting, but that's okay. That's what this is for. That's what the challenge is for. Oh, hell yes. See? This trip was already worth it. Oh, double kill. So I'm kind of hoping that we get, like, some Tears of the Kingdom DLC, where we get, you know, something about, oh, yeah, we dumped all the Divine Beasts out on this island, go there and, like, figure out what's up with that, or something like that, or we got more Sky Islands, or we added Guardian Stalkers to the depths. I think that would be nifty. But, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about this guy. Hey, buddy. What's up, my man? A fine question. To explain, I must- Oh, it's the Blood Moon guy! To explain, I must tell you about the Blood Moon. Some nights, no matter the moon's phase, it rises full and red. Precisely at midnight, the whole sky turns crimson. And then, defeated monsters appear again! There you have it. The Blood Moon! It is my life's work to research this event. Why do the monsters revive? What connects them to the Blood Moon? I thought if I studied the monster's ecology, I would discover something. But I got too close, and here I am. Please, take this for saving me. Food? Heck yeah! On second thought, you deserve more than that. Here! 
more food. Oh, Hino, you shouldn't have. I can't insult you with that pathetically small show of thanks. Take this too. Whoa, Nelly. Do you think we'll see the moon tonight? My man. Focus. Oh. Uh, quick, let's split up before monster spots us. All right, bye, man. Ah, what a fun guy. I'm already experiencing things I didn't experience in my other save file. This is great. Whew. Uh, let's see. We want to start getting more cool fused weapons. That's what we want. And let's see. What do I have? And what can I... Yeah, let's, let's just... Uh, yeah. Perfect. It's not the best, but we're getting there. Oh, actually, I don't normally fuse those things to my shields, but I should. Perfect. And a uh, apple and a bow. Ah, okay, hold on. Cool, cool, great. Well, that went remarkably well. Sort of. All right, whatever. Huh, all right, what are you guys up to? Um, fashionable. <laughs> Link has been one nipple out the whole time, guys. This isn't news. Let's see, anyone else over here? Oh, that's where all the other guys came from. You know, I really should have scoped this place out before I started doing anything. That's fine. It's fine. Uh, what do we got that we can, uh... Hmm. Be nice to have a spiky club. But I kind of like the log club. All right, we'll come back for that spiky ball later if we need it. Um... Anyway. See, so yeah, I kind of, you know, I, I wish that this game felt like it had more direct continuity with um, uh, Breath of the Wild. I mean, a lot of it really does. There are weird points where it doesn't, and uh, there are a few missing characters that I wish were not missing. We deserve Cass, and I hope there's DLC that's just for Cass. Um, wow. So worth it. Thanks. Okay. Uh... But I understand why it's like this. And there's so much, like, new stuff in this game that's really cool that I'm not mad about the, like, three things from Breath of the Wild that I wish they'd left in. All right, let's see. Shrines, shrines. More shrines, as far as the eye can see. Oh, well. I'm sure we'll run into trouble if we just go out in this. We can't bring Cass back and make him old. It's only been six years in universe. Nobody else is visibly aged except for the babies. Oh, we should probably cook, shouldn't we? That feels like a thing that we should do. Go back to Lookout Landing, use that cooking pot. Maybe after we go on this nice little grocery run. Ooh. No, why are you not dead? Come back! Eh. Stop it. This is very rude. Okay, whatever. <sighs> I keep forgetting that my bow is trash. <laughs> I have trash bows right now. I've gotten a little bit too used to using a, um, Demon King's bow, which I- Ooh, hello. Yeah, we'll ride that. Why not? See the sights. Use our paraglider. Revel in it. Um... But the Demon King bow uh, scales damage based on how what your maximum hearts are, which is a cool ability. I like that a lot. Um, and so basically, I currently have 60 damage on that thing, which is awesome. Um, okay. I wish the Demon King bow kept scaling. I would love a bow that does fucking 80 damage. It'd be awesome. All right, where are we going? Just up. Yeah, we're just going up. There's nothing else here. Okay, cool. All right, let's take a little look-see around. We gotta keep an eye on our stamina wheel. Ooh, you know what? While I'm up here, let's uh, let's just start marking some geoglyphs. Where's the one that's uh, one of these things is filled in? I'll just deal with that later. It's somewhere in there. Um, basically. My plan for the big stream that we're going to do is that we're going to do an all towers and all geoglyphs run. So I'm just going to be going all over the map as far as my little legs can take me. And then everything else is going to be like a bonus challenge. Ooh, there's a little island down there. Oh, but we don't have stamina or the sage ability I was going to rely on to get there faster. 
is fine. It's cool. I'm not mad. I am, however, about to fall. So let's just, uh... Whew. That was so pretty. And I like that Castle Town isn't like a radioactive wasteland crawling with bad guys anymore. Oh, hello, little friend. What's up? Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, you know, I hate to discover a cave in this not-discovering-anything game, but... Ooh, Horridlands. I bet those guys have good parts, right? Am I right, guys? Let's go kill some stuff. Nah, those guys are just decorative. Oh, hold on. Oh. My, my. Nice. Come on, get down here. Fight me, cowards. You cannot win, Anakin. Bro. There we go. See? Everything is fine. Ow! Everything is mostly fine. Oh, right. I said I was going to cook, didn't I? I did say that. That's cool. Hey! There we go. Sheesh. Great. We're good. Everything's fine. <sighs> so, do you guys think that I should allow for Korok discoveries in this game, or like in this particular play session where I'm trying to minimize my accomplishments. Because I think, you know, might be good to expand the old inventory at some point. Could be fun, could be festive. Uh, I should have known better than to ask you guys. <laughs> you Korok lovers, the lot of you. Ooh, a spiky spear. Ah, oh, but all my stuff. Uh, let's just get rid of my stone axe. There we go. Anything that's got a stick for a handle, we can do better than that. Whoop. No! Sticky lizard! I failed. It's a good thing Indigo's not here. She'd be very disappointed with me. Oh, I need to get more bomb flowers. There he is. Haha. <laughs> good. No! Be dead! What are you doing? Stop it! Alright, did it stick? Are you good? Are you done? Alright, good. We're good. We're good. Alright. Alright, we're gonna go back to Lookout Landing and cook. Uh, <laughs> enough fucking around. Except for this little, little bonus bit of fucking around. Hello? Here we go. I'm okay with breaking the log stick. <sighs> what a nice game. What should I do for, for if we raise 2k for charity? Whoops. Oh no, the log fell off my stick! I wonder. <gasps> yes! Prepare to meet your doom! Oh, okay, I really thought that would do something more. Well, we're learning a lot. I'm not gonna hunt a Gleok at 2k- Guys! Be realistic! I have four hearts! I suppose it would be fun to at least try and find a Gleok, but I think most of them are- Oh, no, that's not true at all, actually. I know where one of them is. But most of them are in environments that I can't get to without an armor set or a lot of elixirs. Maybe we do... Maybe... Maybe we try that one at 3k. How does that sound? If we raise 3k, I will go pick a fight with the thing in the Colosseum. Actually, how far are we from the Colosseum? Just a sec. Uh... Pfft. We're a little... Eh, uh, we could make that work, I think. Yeah. We can at least try, right? No law says I have to succeed. Just need to give it a shot. 
Mulduga, guys, anywhere where I need special armor to not die is kind of off the table in the grocery run stream that we're doing. <laughs> All right, to look at landing. There's like three to the right of the camp. Three Gleox or Muldugas? I don't know if I trust like that, but... Taluses? Hmm. We could try a Talus. A little bit risky, but... Alright, excuse me, sir. Let's go use the cooking pot. We could also start excavating that tunnel under Hyrule Castle, but we don't need to. We don't need to get into that right now. Where's the? Where's the? There it is. Hello, sir. Oh, what festive green hair this person has. You may say <laughs> this guy doesn't recognize us. Oh, okay, that's why. For today's menu, we have a fruit and mushroom mix that'll rev you right up. I was really looking forward to saying that, but. I'm plumb out of apples. If I don't have my most important ingredient, say goodbye to the rich, full flavor. <gasps> my nose is detecting an aroma. Could it be? Do you have an apple? Take this. Take this! My power! You're really generous. Ah, shucks. You know how it is. Everyone likes feeding us in this game. It's almost like it's trying to tell me something. Have you tried cooking a bomb flower? I cooked a muddle bud one time. My first and only dubious food of the game. Heck yeah, thanks, bud. Anyone can make it. All you need is an apple, a mushroom, and a pot. <laughs> Am I right? You should try making some. Well, maybe I will. How about that? Okay. We want hearts. We want... But we need to be realistic. We only have four hearts, and that's going to be true for a while. <laughs> The Legend of Zelda, Link cooks a bomb and dies. Yes, well, we're trying not to do that today. We're trying to be good at this. You should try going to the Floating Coliseum in the depths. I've already done that one in my other save file. I think, short of the mid-game boss fight, that was the hardest thing I've done. And because I did it way later than the mid-game boss fight, when I was way more leveled up, it was probably the hardest thing in the game. All right, just a second. Okay. Oh, I don't want to pass time by the fire. I want to cook. Leave me alone. I wish to cook. But yeah, the uh, the floating coliseum. That's a that's a fun one. I think it's under the main coliseum. And uh, it went on one phase longer than I was prepared for. Like, I was already exhausting all of my stuff, and then I was like, please, that has to be the last one, and then it wasn't. So, but you know, those are the things that forge us in the crucible of battle, as it were. Let's get a little fancy. Let's do some salt and meat. Salted meat. Love me that salt grilled meat. Mm. Yeah, let's try an omelette. Great. That's what I like to see. Let's do another one of those. Yes, the Floating Coliseum is the one with a bunch of Lynels. It is... ruthless. <laughs> it is such a hard gauntlet. Um, I Honestly, probably the hardest Coliseum. There were... I, I've done most of them, I think. Uh... I'm starting to run out of ancient treasure maps, uh, which is kind of how you know it's working. But honestly, yeah, that one was the worst because uh, the Lynels are already hard and um, it, it's in the depths. So they're all gloom Lynels, which means like any hit you take will just permanently knock your hearts down for the duration of the fight, which is a pretty tall ask to deal with, to be completely honest. Right, let's switch back to our good sword. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I like the Lizzo Coliseum. No problems there. Oh, everyone's complaining about the rain. Come on, guys, it's fine. Hmm. I 
feel like we should try to steer clear of the Sky Islands today, but it would be... Oop! I see a bad guy camp! We'll deal with that in our own time. You. There we go, see? Choo-choo's are supposed to be one hits. All right, and you. What else is Chad going? Ooh, let's see if we can be sneaky. Let's see if we can be stealthy. Let's see if we can be sneaky and stealthy. Ooh. I think we are failing to be sneaky and stealthy. But now, the power is ours. Wow, this wall goes on a ways. All right. Well, so much for sneaky and stealthy. It's what, three red bacop? Oh, yeah, we're fine. What ho, villains? Have at thee. Cool. Quick, raise the alarm. I don't think they heard you, bud. Awesome. All right. And thank you, and thank you. And I'll take whatever that is. Okay. Ooh, I hope we run into some Yiga Clan guys. They've got such fun traps for Link in this game. Nice-ish. That is a rock. That is tolerable, I guess. We don't need a stick. And I'll take whatever that is. Hell yeah. Ah, we are swimming in arrows today. This is great. Hmm, we might be able to get to that star fragment. Oh, it's a little bit... Oh, that's a, hmm, that's a bit of a hike. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we can make it, guys. A challenger has approached. Aha! On guard. You scoundrel. Ooh. I will take a 20 attack weapon, even if it will break after, like, two hits. Get out of here, Traveler's Spear. We don't need you around here. Where'd, this, where'd the horn go? Did I? Yeah, okay, cool. Anyway. Hmm. Oh, I keep from my stamina. <laughs> no! Oh. oh, pain, suffering, even. Ooh, we got bots, though. We can go fight some bots. Always good for a self-care day. Okay. Ooh, they got a big one, though. But that's okay. Come on, buddy. Yes! Ho, 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 ho. All right, easy, easy. No, okay, not easy. Ooh, he brought friends. Friends with shields. It's not that, thank you. Ooh, what's that? That looks, oh, I guess that's pretty good, but not good enough. That's okay. Whoa! Alright, so he has a laser, but we have somehow regained the element of surprise. Oh my god, these are doing nothing. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. We just need to not get hit by the laser and we will be fine. See? Easy. Alright, good work, team! We're really pulling this together. Oops, hold on. Uh, you get out of here. I'll take that. All right, it's about the same as what it was. Oh, we were trying to get something, weren't we? Did I miss one? I did. You there. Oh, I really thought that was going to one-shot it. That was my mistake. Oh my god, that star fragment is so far away. <laughs> Great, awesome. Thank you. Oh, Switch me away from the stuff. Awesome. I'm excited to get better at using Zonai tech, because, like, I uh, I play this game pretty analog most of the time, so it doesn't really occur to me to, that I can, like, build devices for things, but, oh man, some of the things I have seen online, words fail. What do you think the next Legend of Zelda game will be? Whew, there's a lot of directions they could go. Um, I would not mind... A third game in this universe. Um, I think that now that we've killed 
I guess, spoiler. I mean, it's not a spoiler. It's a cold read that we're going to end the game by beating the bad guy. Ooh, what was that? A rock? Hell yeah. Um, I'm never going to reach the star fragment. I keep getting distracted. <laughs> I mean, I knew this about myself, and yet still. Um, but the thing is, like, traditionally in Legend of Zelda, in the older games, as I understand it, when you have, uh, w when you defeat Ganondorf, usually a whole passel of sorcerers just start erupting out of the woodwork, and they start trying to resurrect Ganondorf. That's just how they do. It's just, it's, it's how they thrive. It's their self-care. What am I saying? Um, all right, give me that golden apple. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Anyway, um... So I think it could be fun to have a bad guy that isn't some variant on Ganon or Calamity Ganon and just be some random dickhead sorcerer showing up, causing problems. I think that could be neat. I don't think they have to do that. It just seems like a thing that they could do if they wanted to keep building on this setting without having to scrap anything. Um, oh, I might not be able to make it across this river. I am so weak and frail with only one stamina vessel. <laughs> Please, Goddess Hylia, I am your specialist boy. Um, ooh, results. I don't know if I've got that in me right now. But honestly, my guess would be something more akin to the remake they did of um, Link's Awakening. That sort of, like, top-down, uh, you know, hearkening back to the older days. At this point, basically, there are two ways to make a Zelda game. There's the old way, where it's kind of a linear plot that you're just playing out, and the new way, where it is a large-scale um, open-world adventure. And those are all good. But, you know, I should really eat something. I feel like at this point I'm going to get taken out in one shot and be like, what? It's bullshit. <laughs> How could they do this to me, specifically? Mm -mm. Uh, didn't have okay, whatever. Fine. I'll eat a highly intriguing. Thank you. Okay, we're good. Back up to full, baby. <laughs> Ganon won't know what hit him. <laughs> oh, we are for sure not reaching that star fragment, guys. Oh, I spoke too soon. Sorry, bud. I'll deal with you later. the games aren't actually as linear as they seem. You know. Ooh, both of those would take me uppies. I would love to go uppies. Um, nope. Not today, Satan. Perfect. Uh, anyway. The thing is, the games usually have an underlying linear plot. And technically... So do the open world ones. Like, other stuff can happen, but for the most part... Okay. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on. Yes! Ha! We did it. All right, what else do I have? I'm still playing the combat music. Ah, it's this friendly fellow. Hey, buddy. What you doing? You getting sassy? You getting salty? You causing problems on purpose come on my man what's the plan here oh Hoo -hoo! did you see that I miss guardians I got so good at parrying guardian lasers and now there's nowhere to put that on my resume thank you thank you great when I get that armor set I don't have yet I'll be able to s upgrade it eventually I have no idea where we are, and it'll stay that way. I'm not getting this tower. I swore an oath, damn it. A vow, not easily broken. But if I range too far out of Hyrule Field, I am liable to get my shit pushed in by something way above my level. But that's the price I pay. It's half the fun, baby. Anyway, yes, I miss Guardians. I wish they'd bring them back. I hope that there's a DLC where they add them back in. And if not, I know in my heart of hearts that somebody will make a mod that does it. A mod I won't be able to play because I don't play 
mods, but like, it'll be cool that it exists. Nice to watch Point Crow play it. What's in here? Something bad? Something good? Something suspicious? Ah, a Korok! Of course, I should have known. All right, little buddy, what do you want? So what's a grocery run? Grocery run is we're getting supplies. That's all this game. This, uh, this stream is we're not doing shrines. We're not doing adventure. Oh, this is my first Korok? I didn't get the one on the Sky Island. I guess maybe I did. No, I did. See, I already had a bunch of them. All right, cool. Thanks, Korok. Um, anyway, so yes, a grocery run stream. We are getting supplies and better weapons so that when I do the big charity stream later in the summer, I sort of know what I'm doing. Oh, he's a beefier boy than I expected. But not that beefy. Ooh, apples. Hell yeah. Gimme, 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 gimme. Thank you. Oh, that sounds like an Aracuda getting ideas. I can sense its presence somewhere. Oh, found him. My powers of deduction. Come on, buddy. Do it. Whoop. Oh. Stay down. Haha. -ha. Oh, they're so nasty looking. Great. Huh. <sighs> All right. What else is happening in chat? Uh, we're talking August summer. Uh, we're workshopping a day. We're gonna start reaching out to people, making sure it works for them. But so yeah, that's the that's the concept. That's the idea. I need to stop. I keep resisting the urge to double tap A when I'm flying. It's still playing the really bombastic fight music. That Aracuda must be determined. Oh, is Cyan in chat? Is something shooting at me? Sorry, I'm trying to look at too many things. Oh, hello, friend. I didn't know they had a ranged- Oh, he's holding up a coblin? Oh, <gasps> that's so fun. Die, thank you. For a moment there, I lived in a world where Aracudas could shoot bows and arrows. <laughs> Okay. Well, that was fun. Oh, what? Take? Yes. <laughs> no take, only throw. All right, let's get rid of some of our crappier bows. Perfect. This game is already delivering what I wanted. Who is your favorite Zoldo boss? Ooh, boy. If we're just going with this game, man... I really like all the Master Koga fights. <laughs> They're so funny. They never get old. Ooh. Ah, this will be easier if it's attacking me. You know what else will be easier? Oh yeah, that'll uh, that'll do it. How do I? <laughs> ah! Whoops. Oh, I got a little too cocky there. All right. Second try. All right. Uppies? I would like uppies, please. Thank you. But yeah, Master Koga is an absolute delight. He's just so fun. Nothing ever goes wrong when I'm fighting Master Koga. Oh, wow. That was so worth it. All right. Take some fruits. Nice. Guys, could you please take a hint? All right, whatever. All right, I know what I'm want not wanted. I'm outies. You guys are so rude. What's your favorite enemy? Um, I guess if we're not counting the mini bosses, which I did have a lot of fun with. Um, actually, if we're not counting the mini bosses, that's most of the enemies. But man, I've had so much fun figuring out Gliok fights. Like, they're so annoying. They are the worst. But also, I love them. <laughs> I wonder what that is. Huh. Ooh, it's a cave? A little mini cave? I never knew this was here. Just how I like it. And yeah, I'll break some of whatever that rock is.
Oh, yes. And one, two, three. Wait, why is it not giving me anything more? Why? Come on. All right, whatever. Ooh, uh-oh. <gasps> okay, actually, we probably shouldn't do the rest of this cave because there's an armor set in here. That's what these arrows mean. So we'll deal with the rest of this later. Oh, there's a talus in here? Cool. More reason to stay away. But yeah, Gleox are so fun. I like how every single one of them has a completely different explanation for why their breath weapon lets you go to the... Uh, lets you get eye level with... Oh no, I wanted that. Um, because, like, the fire one, that's easy. It produces a huge updraft. The lightning one, it hits the ground with lightning. The ground breaks, and then there's an updraft. The ice one? I don't know... Oh, excuse me. I don't know if there's a more efficient way to do this that I just haven't figured out. But I've been using uh, Recall to send the ice spikes back up through the big, uh, like, storm thing that it summons. And that is such a pain in the ass, because usually it'll hit me with another ice spike, like, while I'm doing that. It's just a huge pain. When I was fighting King Gliok, it's got one head of each kind. Um, the ice head, like, when I, when I managed to get high up enough to actually, like, shoot at it. The ice head was the only one I targeted, because I was like, I can deal with the fire, I can deal with the lightning, I can't deal with the ice spikes. Huh. <sighs> Ooh. More bad guys. And some tasty fire fruits. We'll take those. And we'll take these. And we'll go back to using a one-handed weapon, because I am absolute trash at fighting with a hammer. Okay, fantastic. And let's just make this easy on ourselves. Oh. Very easy. Hmm. Oh, I think I said I wasn't going to do that, didn't I? Oh, that's fine. We're learning. It's a learning experience. So exploding them isn't the most efficient way to kill them. At least not the easiest for collecting their bits. But we had fun, and that's what really mattered. My phone keeps falling asleep, even though I am watching the stream live, I think. Oh, just kidding. My phone keeps falling asleep because I was not watching the stream live. That is a much more reasonable problem. <laughs> Stop making puns about King Gliok. He doesn't deserve it. <laughs> oh, we probably shouldn't be fucking around here. Nah, why not, right? What's the worst that could happen? Nothing bad has ever happened in Hyrule Castle. Oh, I should work out something we should- oh! I should really work out something we should do at 2k, because we're about to hit 2k. Uh, pfft. Ooh, we're near the Lost Woods, that's fun. I think. Oh, I actually think I remember something around here that we really, really, really don't want to be around. So let's leave before we remember what that is. In fact, I want to check out that tree. Whoops. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Why would you do that? I want to check out... Oh, God, that's so dizzying. I want to check out that tree. That tree over there, the pink one. I want to see that. <laughs> I'm not doing a Phantom Ganon fight at 2K. <laughs> you guys need to be realistic about what this stream is going to look like. Heck yeah. Wow, I killed those guys very violently. Okay. I think the thing is, like, I'm willing to try a stupid fight at, at a certain threshold. Doesn't mean I'm willing to keep going at that until I win. Like, we, we, gotta, we gotta keep in mind realistically what I can and cannot do with a stream where I'm not gonna get more than two points of armor, and I'm not gonna get more than four hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Glue two Koroks at 2k, blue boss. Oh. I suppose we could go a little further afield. Take those, take those. Let's see what we got. That rock has me suspicious. That's okay. Ooh, 
Hello, ma'am. Oh, well, we're already getting flirted with. <laughs> no, I came somewhere else in search of my one true love. Oh. I have not done enough exploring around Hyrule Field in my 100% file because I didn't know this tree was here and I didn't know there was a tutorial character here. But I did figure out what the trees do. <laughs> okay, the reason why I'm not doing shrines, it's not just for a challenge thing. Um, we're going to be streaming this game in August for like a big eight-hour massive charity stream. It's like the stray stream we did last year. We're doing that, but for... Um, with this game. Uh, and in that, I'm making it my goal to do all the towers and all the geoglyphs and everything else is going to just be kind of icing on that. But this game takes a fucking long time to get started, so I gave myself the uh, ability to do a little bit of preparation, a little bit of messing around, but my rule for myself was uh, no shrines, uh, no armor sets, Nothing that could be an actual, like, donation goal challenge in the big charity stream. You know, we're just having a good time. We're just having a funky, fresh, fun time. But we did just hit 2k, so we should do something. Um, castle passage? Castle passage, we could absolutely do. Alright, where the hell is lookout landing? Oh, I've run a long way. What am I doing? Ooh, hold on! I sense an adventurer in peril. Don't worry, ma'am. My one stamina wheel and I are on our way. Oh, I'm so not getting whatever reward this thing has. Oh, she's got that guy on the run. That's cool. Yeah, yeah we did it. Howdy. Have you heard about the strange phenomena? Yeah, I think I've noticed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, bye. Cool. All right, let's get the bits. Perfect. That guy must have dropped other bits. There they are. Okay, cool. Back to lookout landing. Wherever it is. There it is. Getting the glide suit feels like it would be a good challenge for the actual Big O stream, you know? Like, that feels like it would be good to good to do. I'm just saying, you know, if we are going to do the castle passage, we are going to want more boulder weapons. Uh, we don't really care about it that much. I mean, we could try... I'm kind of trying to save the Sky Islands for the actual proper stream. Like, this is us prepping for that. You know, this is us getting ready for, for all the really crazy stuff in the rest of this game. Because I cannot stress enough how hard a lot of this game is if you're not prepared. <laughs> Ooh, anything under this rock? No. Cool. Okay. Let's see. There's so many caves around Lookout Landing. That's wild. Okay. Okay. I should be making more vehicles, probably. Oh, right. I was like, where's my shrine sensor? Normally it's yelling at me about this, but we haven't talked to Robbie. So, Robbie hasn't given us our shrine sensor. And we won't be doing that. So, for the purposes of this stream, fun challenges should be like, dumb things well outside my weight class I should go try to fight. You know, that kind of thing. Ah, we can't find Haunts, but because this is the same save file, uh, Haunts has been ported over from Breath of the Wild. So, Haunts is around. Ah, I don't got ghosts in the house, I got slightly noisy neighbors that went away very quickly, so don't worry about that. Hmm. <laughs> It's fine.
All right. Let's see. What do we need to do to... Uh... There she is. Ah, no, just... Okay. Ah, uh, shucks. <laughs> All right. I think we might need to come back later before we can get to the castle passage. I think she needs to knock a wall out before that. That's okay. We'll just leave. Hmm... What to fight? So many different options, all of them so fun and funky. <laughs> I like how many uh, plot hooks there are hovering around. Like, oh, there's so many thing bad things happening in key location on map. <gasps> Choo choos! Hell yeah, come here, you. Oh, actually, we probably want to use the weaker weapons on those guys. We've only beaten one boss with combat so far, so we can't afford to be too silly with it. Oh, I've already been in that cave. Uh, I wish they didn't light up the caves that you've already been in, or already gotten the bubble gems for. I see why they did it. You know... Oh, Castle Passage doesn't unlock until the first thing? Ooh, okay. In that case, let's do something dumber. Let's start heading for the Great Plateau. Because why not, right? I think we might get up on the Great Plateau, but not do anything too crazy there. Except maybe if we hit 3k, try and fight that Gliok. I mean, we're going to lose and probably break all our weapons in the process, but we can at least check it out so you guys can be happy. Castle Passage doesn't unlock until you do two sages? Really? I feel like I got that so early. But I was rushing through the dungeons really quickly, actually. That doesn't mean anything. Hmm. Apparently Great Plateau is a great place to get weapons early if you're sneaky about it. And that's what I like to hear. So we're gonna do that. Of course, we're not gonna unlock that part of the mini-map, so we're just gonna have to kind of eyeball our way there. But I'm sure we can do it. How hard could that be? Ooh, I guess I will take that falling rock. Thank you. Horses. There is another giant horse in this game. Uh, why are they dropping so many rocks on me? What's happening? Okay, up we go. There's a good shield near the Temple of Time. That's good. Alright, we want the Great Plateau. The Great Plateau is... Ah, over there, I think. Oh. Well, maybe we get just one little sky island. You know, just just a little one. It's right there. It would be a crime, you know. The, re the real crime would be not finishing what we started. Oh, oof. Oh. It's a little, little, little naughty of us, but oh, I think it's fine. What have we got? Oh, see, it wasn't even anything important. It's fine. We're fine. All right, let's go. We're going to run out of stamina so fast. <laughs> what are you hoping to get in future DLC? Uh, that will be discussed in a bonus episode of the podcast that I don't remember when it's coming out, but it's coming out soon. Ooh, hold on. Geoglyph. Got to mark that for later. Um... But, uh, yeah, it'll be fun and funky and exciting. But I am hoping that they add a fourth layer of Sky Islands. Or a fourth layer of the map that is higher Sky Islands. Because uh, I got very high up, and it was not very rewarding. I went to the absolute highest Sky Island in the map, I think. Uh, it's the flower-shaped island that floats over Lookout Landing. Actually, I can show you. Uh, no, I can't. I haven't unf- Oh, yes, I can. There it is. This little guy. Flower-shaped island right over Lookout Landing. It's the highest thing in the map. You, like, I was taking off from the top of the Temple of Time. There's nothing there. <laughs> it's where the Stila in Lookout Landing fell from, the one that landed in the pond. So it makes sense that there wouldn't be anything there. 
but I really wanted there to be something there. So I'm hoping for the DLC, they add something there. You know, like more islands that you can get to. Other fun stuff. I just think it would be neat. Ooh, thing's a little bit above my weight class here. But that's okay, that's what we're here for. Great. This is already going well. As always, the pro strat of- Ow! Hit them till they stop moving. Works great. Absolutely killing it. And them. <laughs> okay. Fun. Great. You, sir. No, stop moving. Rude. Stop making it harder to crit. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, that's okay. No, we'll use the weaker one. Get it out of our system. You good, bro? Ah, he's fine. Nice. 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 We're good. We're good as gold. Where are we going? Where's the Great Plateau? Everything's all rainy. I think it's this way. Anyway. <sighs> but yes, uh, I want higher up sky islands that are harder to get to. And with, with something cool at the top, like a divine beast or something. Like that's where they're hiding Bomb Meadow. Am I heading in the wrong direction? I might be heading in the wrong direction. No, this is still the right direction. We're fine. Ish. Eh. Okay. Ah, we are in fact heading not quite the right direction because that's the Colosseum. <laughs> but we're close. We're heading roughly the right direction. But I guess if we speed ran to 3k, and I have to go look at that Gliok and maybe try and pick a fight with it, we'd have to go there anyway. Hmm. Really makes you think, doesn't it? But yes, I also want uh, more stuff in the depths. People have had some really cool ideas for things they could add to the game. I... what the... Oh. Yes, sir. I don't mind if I do. Ho ho ho. I love it when this game turns into a uh, splinter cell. Carefully, carefully. Oh, so calmly. Oh, didn't have to hit him in the twig and berries, my man. This is war. All's fair in the Legend of Zelda. Whoops! Haha! <laughs> oh no. I forgot he was wearing rock armor. I should have hit him with a bomb. Oh, there he goes. Huh. How about that? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. And I take the other thing as well. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Where are we going? Ah, there's the Great Plateau. I'd know those walls anywhere. Um... But yeah, I saw someone suggesting uh, a dark link in the depths could be very cool. Uh, a little hard to justify, but I think it could be really neat. And the idea that like you hear about it when, uh, like, because when you're in the depths, you can read the like journals of the Yiga clan, uh, and the I, because of course they are relentlessly hunting for us. They're looking for Link. Uh, so if they're just like prowling the depths and they're like, oh, we found him, and it's like, well, that wasn't him. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Kind of looked like him, but oh, we were wrong. I just think that would be neat. Okay, okay. What the? Oh, that's fun. We're getting organically Indiana Jones dad. All right, well. Godspeed. <laughs> the pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. Oh, yeah. I guess Dark Link does kind of have Metroid Prime energy if you're doing that. Oh, stop it, stop it. Okay, we're good. I just think it could be cool. Puts more stuff in the depths. Well, the depths kind of are, they're less densely populated with stuff to do than the overworld, which makes sense. It would be kind of hard to match that. And it is so cool already that, like, I'm not going to sass for them not literally making an entire 
second map. Like, they kind of already did that. But, you know, just a little more weird free-floating stuff in there would be fun. Alright, Godspeed to this guy. Sorry, he counts as a side quest that we'd be accomplishing, so we can't, uh, we can't interfere. Sorry, Prime Directive or something. Alright, bye! Oh ho ho! Alright, cool. Well, I suppose we could go through there. Or, we could just go up. Let's go uppies! Yeah! Oh, home sweet home, it's like I never left. Uh, the, uh, ominous, uh, gaping holes to the depths are new, but that's okay. That's fine. You know what? I know for a fact that we have a thing up here. Oop, what was that? Something I could take? That was probably a bug. Um, somewhere up here there's a Bacoblin Talus camp. That could be fun. And we did hit 2k, and I feel like it would be a crime to... You know, not give you guys something for that. Carefully. Easy. Easy, my friend. Oh no. Don't wake up yet. Come on, it'll be so funny. Oh, he's a strong boy. He's a big boy. And his backpack is full of meat. We need meat. Whoops. Oh, what am I doing? Shield. There we go. Oh! Cool! Oh my god, we're so nerfed! Alright, let's try that one more time. <laughs> I miss when the Great Plateau was the tutorial area. Why do I have an extra shrine? What did I do? Oh, that's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, note to self. Heal up before we go and pick any fights. In fact, I'll do that right now. You know, just a couple apples. There we go. Now we'll have that, uh... There's some kind of, like... Uh... Noob thing that they do where it's like, if you are at full hearts, but you do not have enough hearts to survive this one hit, you will survive the hit with, like, a half a heart, or, like, a quarter or something. But they don't do that if you are one hit below your maximum. So we're gonna be... more careful this time. Yeah, just a little, just a skosh. Ooh, what's down there? Screw being careful, I want to know what that is. Oh, cool, just mushrooms. Mushrooms. Oh, for crying out loud, guys, you're ruining my ambush! Great, I love this. Do you guys mind? Oh, see, there it is, told you. All right. What do we got? Oh, tons of this food. You can just get rid of and you, and one of you. Oh yeah, we're fine. Whoops. Whoop. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool. It's fine. Everything is normal. Cool. 
Okay. But the horns we're gonna get from these guys. Whoop! Oh no, I'm out of shields again. That's fine. We're fine. This is why we're doing this stream. So that I actually stand a chance of doing anything. Why are these stall enemies still out? The sun is up, man! Take a hint! Whoop! <laughs> Good thing we cooked, right? Oh. Oh, that's a tragedy. Oh, no, my shield, I need that. We're not dying. Ooh! What the? Alright, we're gonna try sneaking up on them next time. This is getting silly. Maybe I'll bomb them. That's what I have bombs for. What am I doing? Ah, oh, I wasn't full. That's why. <sighs> we're learning. It's a learning experience. What the? There's a person up here. Deal with that later. Alright, give me those mushrooms. Alright. Come on, it'll be fun. Let me up. Yes. There was a moment when Ascend just clicked for me, and it became my favorite ability. Good job, Link. You really made that worth it. It's fine. It's fine. We're just gonna shoot him with arrows. We have so many arrows. Why would we not do that? Ooh, hello. Thank you. And let's just paraglide just a little, and you get... You get... Where's my fire fruit? You get set on fire. Won't that be exciting for you? Oh yeah, he's fine. He's having a great time. And your friend needs to join the party. Oh, that's so lovely. And he's good. Give me, give me. Take that. Nice. And your buddy doesn't know what to do with himself. That's tragic. I am hitting you in the head. This would be there we go. Woo! That's cool. See, it restocked all of our stuff. I don't remember if I've mentioned to you guys that my theory is that uh, we uh, w diegetically when we die it is the recall rune uh, activating and rewinding us to before we died. Just like how in the last game my theory was that um, the Koroks are lugging us to the Shrine of Resurrection and popping us back in for five minutes whenever we die. Yeah, it's my cunning plan. My, my brilliant theory. Check out the Temple of Time. Nah, who needs it? I don't need that side quest in my life. Oh, for God's sake. Hey, fellas. Ooh, happy boys. Whew. Anyway, if we hit 3k... Oh, oh, why are all the bad guys up here so powerful? All right, we're going to do the tree thing again. it would be great. And this is exactly what I- excuse me. Thank you. Um, if we hit 3k, we're gonna go check out the Gleok and the Colosseum. It's not a good idea. But all I said is that we're gonna go take a look-see. Whether we do anything about it is anyone's guess. The thing is, like, we, we literally can't. We don't have good enough weapons. We- there's a- there's like a threshold. We did this um, when we were streaming Breath of the Wild too. Uh, there's like a certain level at which you just, your weapons are not good enough and you can have an inventory full of them and they will all just break on whatever you're fighting. And you, you won't just be able to power through and kill it. It just doesn't work like that. So that's kind of where we're at with that. Oh, he's stuck. That's new. Oh, I missed. Fired again. I missed. Missed both times. And I fired. I missed. This went on for several hours. And I fired. And I missed. Oh, we got him now, boys. He's right where I want him. Whoops. 
Uh, that's fine. That's good. That's cool. We're so ready for this. Just chip it away. Just keep him ragdolled. Okay. Whew. That was fun. All right. Let's start fusing more weapons. Let's see. We got... Uh, we got a stick. Fuse a lot of interesting things to a stick. Uh, we've got these to spare. Why not? All right, that's not the best, but it's not the worst either. We gotta start breaking some of these weaker ones and getting better ones. I guess we may as well grab this while we're here. <sighs> Come on, buddy. You know you wanna. What could go wrong? Woo! I really thought I'd be able to hit that. Never mind. All right. Mm. Eh. For some ungodly reason, the Big Bang Theory theme is on loop in my head. I haven't watched that show in years. I've got no explanation either. It's just happening. Ooh, a chest. Hell yeah. Oh, if this is an armor set, we might need to leave it, though. Hello, what are you? Yeah! Oh, this is really good. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, I'll take that. Thank you. Wow. All right. Well, we're good in the shields department for the foreseeable future. Let me up. Thank you. Puppies. Um, we can check out the uh, Hylia statue. No, leave me alone. Might as well start this side quest. Like, why not, right? We're here. It'll be fun. It'll be exciting. Funky, fresh, and cool. I like that it's very quietly still playing the combat music in the background. Huh. How about that? Yeah. Whoops. Well, that Aracuda thing will figure it out eventually. Ooh! Well, here's a fun possibility. Now, I wonder who could possibly live here. Ooh, I'll take a shroom. Thank you. Yes, good. Good! nice. Yeah, why not? Let's use their cooking pot. Who cares, right? It's funny. Uh, there we go. Let's just do a little, a little bit of this. A little bit of that. Oh, I suppose this is an armor set. Oh, it's just a little one, though. We can leave it and then come back and get it late. Mm, no, no. I swore an oath, damn it. All right. Well, this just let me climb up it. Yay! All right, let's go fight something else. All right, Yiga clan, you live to fight another day, but I'll be back for you. Ooh. That is... a problem. How many bombs do we have? Let's just check. Two. Great. Uh, I feel like this is still a solvable problem. You know we're okay with just running away, which we absolutely are. There is valor in dodging, as Lady Urbosa reminded me on many occasions. All right, everybody, huddle up. Ooh, I really hope 
that would do more. That's okay. Ooh, oh boy, oh boy, okay, okay. <laughs> Ooh, they're so fast. Why are they so fast? And we're just gonna, whoop, well, I don't need that anyway. And we're just gonna, whoop, and just a little, whoop. They probably can't climb, right? I feel like that's a thing about them. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. See? They're confused. We can just pick them off one at a time. You. Come on, buddy. I've made a mistake. An error has been made! Whoops. <laughs> Another error has been made! Oh, that was my good bow. Oh, see? That's good. This is workable. We can make this happen. Come on, get up. Oh, I feel bad, but I really, really don't. And, uh, whoop. Whoop, that didn't do as much though on it. That's okay. There we go. Now it's working. And just a little bit of that. And... <laughs> Is everyone having fun with this stream? Let's just do a little quick save. And then we're gonna get up in there and stab him. Sound good? Sounds good. Excuse me, sir! I should probably be using my better weapon, but I don't care. Right in the crack. It's the Dark Souls approach. You hit him in the ass. Whoa! I've never seen him do that before. Dance combat. And one and oh, oh no. Easy, 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 easy. Yeah! Oh, with the final blow. I will take that. I will take this. Oh, I wish I was one handed sword, but that's okay. Cool. Alright, this is working great. Alright. <laughs> Hope the Yiga clan was watching that one. Let's see. What did we get? We have... Black Boss McCoblin Horn is good. Black McCoblin Horn is also good. We've got more of those to spare. Let's see. I would love a decent one-handed weapon. But I guess we don't always get what we want. Uh, it's just a base wooden stick. That's nah, nah. Let's just keep it. We'll get more good baseline weapons elsewhere on the uh, plateau, I assume. Oh, that guy is for sure Yiga Clan. Not <laughs> get thee behind me. All right. Woo! Well, it's nice to know that the strat I use on Lionels also works on uh, boss bacoblins. <laughs> I don't think it'll work on the Gliok. Those, it kind of seems like there's only really one way to beat, but that's okay. And let's see. Without the map, some of this is really uh, complicated to navigate by memory, but that's okay. All right, and let's see. What else is going on in chat? Oh, you want me to use the arm? What? What would I use the arm on? I mean, I assume there's cool stuff around here, just on principle. Master Koga? Oh, the trees. Eh, it's fine. 
It would be good to get some eightfold blades. Those are pretty good baselines for one hit. Oh! Ah. Nah, maybe later. <laughs> I don't know if I have another one of those in me right now. Okay. Okay. When will those dragons start flying around? I haven't really been keeping track of their roots because, you know, I've been I've been basically playing post game for so much of my time playing this game, so I don't know when things are triggered by the game. I guess I could fuse the boss Bacoblin horn to the claymore. I just hate two-handed weapons because I can't. You guys have seen how I fight. I always need the shield out, or I will just be constantly getting smacked because I'm bad at dodging. But I guess it would probably be good to have at least one really powerful weapon on hand. All right, just a just a just a little one. Just a... all right. That's pretty good. That's not ha that's not half bad. That's pretty fancy. Uh, and for my for my one-handed weapons, I guess we're just gonna stick with the Captain One Reaper. I don't remember where the Shrine of Resurrection is, but I know it's up here somewhere. I mean, the Shrine of Resurrection is also, like, hiding in this game, which is weird and confusing. But again, I kind of like that. The impression I get... Oh my god, I don't trust any of these. But, I mean, if it's Giga Clan, it'd be good to have some weapons. Why not, right? <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am, I'm here for my 7 o'clock ambush appointment. Wow, our meeting here must be fate. You know, I really like your look. So much so that I'm officially offering you a place in the fan club I founded. <laughs> You'll be our second member. Fan club? For who? Mm. Oh, you want to know who it's for? Here's a hint. He's got a smile like a sunbeam and the most charming pot belly you'll ever see. Who else could it be but the Yiga Clan's own Master Koga? <laughs> and the membership fee is so reasonable. It's only your life. Okay, let's go. I like that they all know who Link is. Come on, buddy. Great. Fantastic. You know what I really like about this game? I like that Ganondorf has no idea who the Yiga Clan are and doesn't care about them. <laughs> and you can tell that just by the fact that all their weapons decayed right along with ours. Okay, and now we'll drop that. Oh, what do you mean I can't? Oh, I'm on a, like a weird slope or something. What the? Oh, I see. There we go. I'm good at this game. Everything is normal. Ooh, arrows. And yeah, let's do a little bit more cooking. Just a skosh, just a smidge. Just a, just a little, just a little bit. We could do some gloom res- Nah, we're not going into the depths for a hot minute. We don't need that. Um, meh. Meh. Yeah, why not? Okay, cool. Defense up plus two. That's always good to have. Uh, stamina mushrooms. Let's go. Which of the sages boss fights was your favorite? Oh, man. Um, I loved fighting Kolgera. I think the the whole uh, Rito Village dungeon was incredible. Uh, and there are like four different Kolgeras in the depths, and I fought all of them just because it's so fun. So, ah, I knew it! I knew it! I knew that tree was suspicious. Hold on. All right, cool. Have fun, man. Are you not dead? Please just die already. Come on, man. I don't want to deal with this. No, why must the rain... Oop, hold on. How bad is the rain? Oh, very bad. All of my best weapons. Oh, no, just kidding. This one's fine. And the bows? Yeah, we're good. Great. Oh, no, there's more than one of them. No! Ugh. I hate the scary trees in this game. Just let me up. Okay, awesome. Maybe they can't reach me up here. I said maybe they can't reach me up here. Maybe they... Oh my god, actually? Oh, incredible! Haha! 
I guess they couldn't see the forest for the trees, am I right? <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Okay. Okay. Ooh, a nice little cavelet with mushrooms. And a wild boar that we're not going to antagonize. Thank you, thank you. Beautiful. Oh, cool, more Koroks. I, I feel like every time I play one of these games, the route I take me through shows me stuff I've never seen before. And neither of these Koroks have been things I've seen before. <laughs> oh, I love it when I look down and everyone hates the pun I just made. <laughs> All right, let's see what else is happening. We're doing pretty good, honestly. Killing a bunch of black bacoblins already is not a bad place to start. Ooh, you know what? If there's more Yiga clan up here, we could always use more Eightfold Blades, and they go down pretty quick. Okay, well, they normally plant them along major roads, because that makes it easy to ambush me. So let's just... Nope, nope. I pretend I do not see it. Go away. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, we killed the ones that were over here. So everything's fine now. Everything is fine and normal. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> no, <laughs> go away. I'm Lady Hylian's specialist boy. <laughs> Okay, all right, I think we're good. I think we're... Yeah, that's fine. Stop playing the fight music. I pretend I do not see it. It was in Breath of the Wild. I was at one point fighting a Yiga Blade Master after I'd killed Master Koga, so, like, all the guys were out in force. Uh-oh. I hope this works in the rain. This is good. Okay. Oh, hold on. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me. We want, uh, yeah, this one's fine. Perfect. Uh, anyway, there was a Yiga Blade Master who came after me uh, in a lightning storm and he got struck by lightning. It was awesome. Oh no! Oh shit! Speaking of getting struck by lightning, what is setting that off? Oh! My hand weapon I am currently using. That is why. Anything else? No, just that. Cool. Please just die. No! It's cool, it's fine. I keep forgetting that they can use the uh, their horns as attacks now. Scary. Not prepared. That's okay. Being underleveled is the first step to being appropriately leveled. Why? Ooh! Well, you drive a hard bargain, sir. Please, just stop. Thank you. I'll take that. Nice. Stop, 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 stop. Just die. <laughs> oh, everything's so tanky at this level, and I miss having more hearts. Oh, everything is so hard. Okay, we're good. Uh, there's something interesting over here. I think, oh, I think it was a rock that fell, which we would like to use. Um, where is it hiding? Where? Where? Ah, it's over there. Cool. The range on recall is nuts, and I really like that they got rid of the cooldown for the uh, rune equivalents. Man, it's so cool. Like, they made it pretty hard to cheese. Like, if you recall something up, you can't then recall it again, so it keeps going up. Ooh, hold on. I can always use more fire fruits. Um, but I've done some pretty busted things by comboing... Uh, arm abilities. There's a cave somewhere in the later game um, where the uh, the bubble frog in it is like right at the very top of the cave in this little bombable uh, alcove and it's too high up for you to ascend through. So I was like using the ultra hand to move a rock up and then using Recall to send the rock into the air, and then using Ascend to shoot up into the rock, and then trying to ascend from the rock through the ceiling. Um, and it didn't work. It did not work. 
But it did let me ascend through the... Ooh. Hello, Farage. Could be good to... I mean, if we get near him, we're going to get struck by lightning. But if we can tank that for a little while... He's got some valuable materials on his back that we could collect. Anyway, you can do some bananas things by comboing effects, and it's awesome. Uh, okay, we're not going to be able to make it to him. But if we get another nice fallen rock somewhere around here... Oh, wait, are we back where we were before? Yeah, we are. That's okay. Yeah, the, uh, the dragons are still around. All three of the ones from Breath of the Wild are still here. They have very different roots now. Um, they, uh, they all have flying roots that take them down into the depths and then back up again. Um, oh, you know what? Oh, right! We were gonna pick a fight with Yiga clan members. Oh, I'm just an innocent traveler, completely heedless of the danger. Hello! Oh, you're selling grilled bananas? My, my! How non-suspicious, sir! Aww. Come and chill, hot bananas, fresh off the grill. Hold them in your hands, feel that heat, take a big bite. What a treat! Oh, very good, early 2000s educational rap energy. And the flavor, like a dream. Little taste of heaven, if you know what I mean. That's a, it's an imperfect rhyme, but I'll let it, I'll allow it. Stop right there and buy a pear. Grill one up for me! Oh. These bananas are my pride and joy. Mmm, a little expensive, sorry. All right, then. Hope you come back soon. That's a lie fresh off the gearl of deception. That one fully doesn't rhyme. Oh. Beg the bananas forgiveness! <laughs> Is that what they're calling it these days? Whoa, it's chilly in there. <clears throat> oh. Stop that. Come back. Whoops, hold on. And, uh, mm, yeah, let's, let's, let's break the weak ones again. Yay! Already everything's going well. And I'll take these. And I think I actually have, well, let's see. Will this be enough? Oh, <gasps> it is! Oh, thank goodness, and I didn't even need to cover up my chest. This is great. I mean, that water will still super kill us, but, like, other than that, everything is coming up Link. It's awesome. Have you encountered the hands? Not in this file yet. Oh, there's Farash! Farash, no, come back! Let me touch your skin! All right, hold on. I can just... If he's going into a chasm that we can reach, we might be able to follow him. No, he's so high up. Farage, come back. Please. I merely wish to be where you are. All right, come on. Drop a rock. Come on. Come on, heavens. Rocks fall. Everyone lives. Everybody lives. This is a pretty tight shot, though. I mean, look at that shadow. Come on. Come on. Drop a rock. You know you want to. Won't it be so poignant and rad? Let me hang out with the dragon who's gonna hit me with lightning. Ooh, something show it. Oh, it's a, it's a Yiga guy. Should we go pick a fight with this Yiga guy? Get another eightfold blade? Yeah, Farage can wait. <clears throat> Hello, humble traveler, what's up? Mm. If that goes like this, then this happens. But then that has to be like this or else. Ugh, I don't get it at all. Do you get it? I get it. Mm. So it seems like that bit moves this way and does that. And this one comes over here like so. Then suddenly that does this. Or so it seems at least. You know what I mean? Indeed. What do you mean, indeed? There's no way you understand. You, you, intellectual charlatan! Sorry, I hang out with Zelda a lot. I've gotten used to just kind of smiling and nodding when smart people are talking. Uh -huh. Curiosity killed the swordsman! Oh, shit. No way! An ambush? It cannot be. My life, she is in peril. <laughs> Hey, nice sword you got there. You attached to it? Stop running away. Cowards. There we go. And a one -y and a 2 -y and a yay! Oh, hold on. Gotta make room. Oh, 
Uh, we can drop this one. Start making us some better weapons. Take some nanners. All right, where's Farage? There he is. Any rocks dropped? No. That's okay, there's still time. Oh, come on, guys. Ooh. Hmm. Maybe we'll call that one 5K. <laughs> I mean, anything is possible, but like, what's happening? Oh, no thank you. No thanks, sir. We don't need any pamphlets today. Oh, man. Come on, Farash. It would be so awesome. We could just hang out and vibe. You know, you, an immortal spirit that's taken- Ow! That's taken the form of a dragon. Me. Hylia's specialist boy. Let's eat that apple real quick. Okay, there we go. You know, this is a weird thing that I don't see anybody commenting on, but, like, where the rocks have landed, they've sort of, like, sent out this fractal pattern. Like, there. Right in the rock. Oh, well, I can't see it now, but... It's like it spreads out from where the rocks impact, and that's a little bit creepy to me. It implies that there's, like, some some component of the rock that that has an influence that spreads. I don't know. Just a little bit spooky. Just a little. Just a little weird. You know, I bet if we could get to that chasm nice and quick, we could hitch a ride on Farage when he goes down. But we definitely cannot do that. <laughs> We're not going to make it in time. Ugh. Tragedy. Well, I guess I'll have to comfort myself by killing whatever this is. Yep, there he goes. So majestic. Very beautiful, very powerful. All right, what do we got? Oh, I can think of something. There we go. Whew, clean up on aisle 12. All right, anyone alive? We good? We're good. Oh, nope, one of them's alive. That's okay, we'll get him. Ah, shame. I'm out of room. All right, laters. Hey, where you going? Mm, that felt a little bit ruthless. <laughs> Named after me, poor wife Ruth, who sadly doesn't enjoy sailing. Woo! I needed that, sir. Woo! I also needed those. I mean, I talk a lot of shit, but, like, this is so early in the game. I'm not ready for the things we're fighting. But that's why we're getting better weapons. Stop that. It's rude of you to catch me on the backswing. Uh, yeah, why not? And there we go. That's fun. Didn't know you could ragdoll one of them into the other. Oh. Oh, I was just using an unfused eightfold blade. Oh, that's fine. We'll make a better one. <laughs> yeah, I really should have been just doing that the whole time, huh? Oh, perfect. This arm was running out of juice. Great. Awesome. Good work, team. We're doing fantastic. We're more than breaking even. And uh, let's see what other materials they got here. Oh, yeah. We did explode a whole bunch of them, so there's probably just bits around. Let's get those. Okay. And well, we can do a little bit more cooking. How considerate. I kind of like playing the game like we're on a very violent camping trip. Like, no, no, we're, we're not doing any shrines. We're mostly just doing, like, health management and food and collecting interesting things. You know, let's just do a little bit of gloom recovery. May as well. Wow. That recovers a ton of gloom hearts just from one sundelion? That's wild. Nice. Okay, uh, yeah, let's just, yeah, okay, cool. 
Cool. All right. That's probably fine. Let's see. What, what cool weapons can we... Oh, yeah. We want to put something badass on the Eightfold Blade. Uh, yeah, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Okay. Cool. Well, Farash went underground, which is a shame, because... I really wanted to get some dragon bits, because that would make some really badass weapons. And we might get struck by lightning, which would be fun and exciting. Let's see. We need to find some middle ground between Bacoblin Camps and Gleox, because I... There is literally no way I could beat a Gleok right now. Like, I'm sure there's some speedrunner out there that can do it with two hearts and one hand tied behind his back. But I am not that man. I am but mortal. Ooh. Hello, friend. What's up? Oh, it's that guy. Hey, it's Kato. I've heard that you and Princess Zelda had gone missing. I'm thrilled to see you alive and well. But where's Princess Zelda? Well, you see... There was this thing that happened. What? So Princess Zelda's still missing. Well then, Link. You may want to meet with Lady Impa. Ooh. She's investigating the geoglyphs that have appeared across the land. A curious name for this strange phenomenon. Lady Impa believes that they're crucial to the search for Princess Zelda. I don't know why she believes Ooh. that. It's weirder that she's right. She's traveling in one of those new balloon contraptions and should be at New Seren Stable right now. I'm in a hurry to meet with Lady Impa, but I can't go anywhere nearly as fast as she can in her balloon. Yeah, uh, yeah okay, bye. Good luck with the Gleok. Cool. All right, let's take this shield off before we get struck by lightning. Okay, okay. And let's take this weapon off before we get struck by lightning. Perfect. Cool. Well, we'll deal with Impa and the Geoglyphs later. Which would be a not great name for a band, let's be honest. It would be a tolerable name for a band at best. Stop that. I want to get up. I want to go. Stop ye! You're so rude. So rude to me. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I don't have this in. Hey, friend, we'll deal with you later. There he is. What a friendly boy he is. Yeah, so I think just the environmental damage of being near that thing in the second phase of the fight, assuming we could even get to the second phase of the fight, would uh, just straight up kill us. Or at least make it so that we took damage so that any hit from it would straight up kill us. So we're not gonna do that. But maybe when we do the big charity stream, when I actually have some hearts and like better weapons and maybe even the Master Sword eventually, maybe then I'll fight this bad boy. Very, very bad boy. That's the baddest boy that we've found so far. But for now, let's just keep on exploring. Let's keep finding new and exciting things. Adventure through this great and grand world. Preferably not get struck by lightning on the way. Uh, could go down the whirlpool, but... Stop that. No, my jellies. Hey. What? Bro. Take a hint. I don't remember what's down there. I know there's a cave, but, you know, I don't remember the specific cave. When is the charity stream? That'll be in probably mid to late August. Uh, we've been figuring out some dates. We're gonna reach out to some people who we would love to have on. But yeah, so we'll, we'll announce that when it becomes a thing. But that's the main thing that we're saving the full, like, here's the Kingdom Play for. It also gives you guys time to, like, play some of this at home, so I'm not just fully spoiling all the fun bits, you know? Kind of hard to enjoy if you're doing that. <laughs> oh, you know what? I want to take advantage of... Uh, oh, no, I didn't mark it on the map. Does anyone remember where that pink tree was? Ah, we'll find it later. Oh, Miss Scoozy. Whoop. that? Ah! Please hold. No, I don't want to eat his own eye device. But I'll take this thing. Great. Ooh, prime meat? Hell yeah. I feel a little bad because we literally just mugged that guy. 
But, eh, he'll be back with the next Blood Moon. It's fine. I, on the other hand, have no such reset button. Wait, anyway. Ooh. You guys see that? There's islands in that storm. I love the way they do the deep atmospheric effects for, like, the really strong weather events. Just so pretty and whoop. Haha. <laughs> What's down there? Well, we've discovered something. Is this the thing where Farash flew into? Maybe he's still down there. I mean, if we're getting supplies, like. There's stuff in the depths. We don't need to start lighting up light roots. And we already did one for uh, Robbie, and uh... Ah, we can just warp back if we want to. Yeah. Come on, play that funky music. Oh my god, what is that? Oh no, we're right on top of a Yiga clan base. Yeah, we're not touching that. I think we're just gonna... Mm, we're gonna fly over and get that one postal that I see down there, the big one. And then I think we're just gonna fuck off and leave. Oop, just kidding. We'll get this one light route and then we'll fuck off. Sounds good? Great. What the fuck? Oh, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. In my other save, I have the depths completely lit up, and I think it made me a little bit, um... Uh, complacent about how kind of actually terrifying the depths are when they're still dark. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't, I didn't like that. I didn't like that we accidentally clung to the, the roof of the depths. That was, that was freaky. Yeah, I mean, the depths are such a nightmare. I think we are allowed to do a little bit of, of exploring and lighting things up. And not getting eaten by frogs if we can help it. But just a little exploring. Remember. Nothing too fancy. Because there's bomb flowers down here and we need those to cheese things. So I've said that, like... Ooh, perfect. Those are very good to have. Um... Uh, Breath of the Wild was obviously very influenced by Studio Ghibli. Um, you know, a lot of parts of that game. Just the design, the aesthetic. A lot of elements. Very Ghibli-esque. Um, and with this game, it feels like they added... So, so they, they like went with Ghibli influences from even more stuff. You know? There are like four different Ghibli movies that have very clearly shaped this game a little bit. What am I doing? Hold on. I have bright bloom seeds for this. It's like, I, I could have sworn there was a way I navigated the depths before I had every single light route. Oh, right! Ooh. Speaking of good things to fight, those things. Hey. No. Oh, God. Ooh, they're so creepy. No. Good. Ooh, awesome. See, we're already breaking even. This is great. Ugh. Anyway, uh, this part of the game is very much influenced by Naushika. This is the Sea of Decay straight up, and I love it, and I hate it at the same time. <laughs> the Sea of Decay is what my nightmares are made of, so you can imagine how fun this game is for me. And I love that it's a perfect inverse of uh, the surface world. Yeah. Like, even in places where that almost, like, doesn't make sense, you know? Um, for instance, under Hebra Peak is a chasm. You know, the mountains are inverted into chasms. But the, uh, the big hole in Hebra Peak that was carved by a laser in, like, the first Great Calamity 10,000 years ago, uh, it is also mirrored in the depths. There's, like, a raised bit, which is a little weird. Doesn't make the most sense. Still pretty cool. All right, there's only so much we can do in this area. Let's just go back to Lookout Landing. <laughs> Me no likey how this looks. Okay. 
What the? Oh no! It gave us a it gave us a talk to Impa quest. All right, we'll deal with that later. But that's good because we want to do all the geoglyphs anyway. So that'll be the first thing we do in the big stream. There's a Lionel under every stable. Wow. Okay. I do want to do like a challenge run at one point where I just try not to warp if I can help it. I think that could be fun. But I don't think we can do that and also do uh, the stream idea I have in a timely fashion. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mm. Let's see if anything's changed. It might have changed. Oh, and we should be on the lookout for wells. We need those for somebody. Wait a minute, is there a chest down there? How is there a chest down there? I want it. Oh, wait, actually, I think I know how to get there. I think. Maybe. Oh, hold on. Who, where is, where is he? You, monster patrol guy. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I haven't talked to this guy yet. Monster oh. control crew, blah, blah, blah. Perfect, that's what we want today. Ever since the upheaval, there's been an increase in monsters throughout Hyrule. Yes, oh. tell me where the squads are. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, my skill in swordplay might have been unmatched when I had 30 hearts in both arms, but you know. Okay, do you have quests? Yes, tell me where they are. Perfect. Okay. North side of Death Mountain. We might not be able to do that. Yep, okay, yep, yep, okay, yep. Oh, it didn't give us side quests for that. But, okay, we want south of Lookout Landing. Let's help out with the monster control crew if we can find them. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. <clears throat> south of Lookout Landing. Oh, we are heading north. That's our problem. Hold on, do we have any metal on us? I think we're good. Oh, he's fine. Quit being a drama queen. Yeah, okay. I haven't done any of the squad battles this early in the game. They're kind of a cakewalk when you're leveled up and have at least one sage. But there's a lot of fun stuff we could do. Let's see, Hyrule Field south of Lookout Landing. Yeah, I guess that's around... I don't remember. These are the things to the right? Did we already do that? We might have already done that. I think they would have said, ah, it's fine. Okay, let's see. I wonder why it's so lightning-y today. We don't even have Farage to hang out with. It's so tragic. I suppose we could do... Well... Mm. There's like... The thing is, there's unique resources in both the Depths and the Sky Islands. And this is a grocery run stream. We could justify doing just a little bit of that. But like... You know, I... I have, like, a no-shrines policy today and, and that kind of thing, and I, I feel it's important to stick to my principles just this once. Whoa. No, thank you. Let's see. Did we already deal with that? I forget. We might have already dealt with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The thing is, if I did more shrines, I'd get more hearts. I know that. But I'm saving the shrines for when we do the big charity stream later in the summer, uh, where shrines and such like would be an extremely valuable uh, thing to seek out. 
rush through. Great, we have a horse now. Hey, stop that. I want to go fight these guys. And by we, I mean me. Alright, don't get too cozy, friend. Whoops. <laughs> that didn't work how I wanted it to. Oh, oh boy. Oh no! Did I just hit my horse? I think I just hit my horse. I'm the worst kind of criminal. <gasps> okay. Yeah, you know what? I deserve whatever's about to happen to me. Uh, let's do you. Let's eat a little bit so we don't die. You know, just a skosh. Just a smidge. Oh. No, my cobbling arm broke. Okay, great. Well, that horse and I were never meant to be. And it was pretty slow, too, so that's okay. Oops. I'm out of weapons. Great. Well, at least the horse survived. That's kind of all I would, could ask for at that point. Whoops. Oh, gotta make sure we don't get struck by lightning. Rookie mistake from Link, the hero of Hyrule. Oh, that's fun. Well, I have no idea where the monster control crew is. Would have been nice if they gave me a sub, like a side quest for it, but that's okay. I'm not bad. You know what I do miss? Guardian stalkers. <laughs> I remember, I think I fought one right here. Good times. Simpler times. When the most you had to worry about was a giant robot piloted by the corrupted ghost of your old best friend who died because you failed to save them. Nowadays, everything's all confusing. I remember when I knew what it was. I will take this. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye, everybody. <laughs> I'm here to steal your prime gourmet meats, and that's it. Ah, no, they're they're itching for a they're itching for a scrap, and I aim to give them one. All right, what do you got, lads? No, give me the updraft. I want it. Thank you. Killed another guy. Where is his bits? Oh, over here by the fire. Okay, we're good. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Where are we at? We have raised... Well, yeah, I know they're probably at the monster control camp, but I don't know where that is. <laughs> Alright, let's go kill that guy too. Can never have enough monster bits. See it? Always good. Uh, let's see. Oh no, is there spam bots? Sorry. Um, who's spamming? Me knowing what hides in all the garrison ruins. Ooh, what hides in the garrison ruins? Wait, is it the spoopy arms? Alright guys, I can only focus, like, on one thing at a time, and, uh, this is kind of the thing I'm focusing on. Uh, let's, yeah, we could do, we could always use one of these. Hold on. Oh, 
here it is. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, this is cute. Hi. Link, hello. The last time we met was at Hyrule Castle, if I remember right. Hey. I'm Haas, captain of Squad One of the Monster Control Crew. After our search for Princess Zelda at Hyrule Castle, I returned to my monster fighting oh. duties. At the moment, we're closing in in a monster stronghold up ahead. Once we approach their base, we'll wait for the right opportunity and then launch our attack. Oh. I apologize if I'm being presumptuous, but running into you here feels like fate. I must say, nothing would be more encouraging than to have you, Hyrule's best swordsman, assist us. Alright, well, don't give up standards. If we work together, I'm sure we could bring peace back to this land. Yeah, why not? I have two points of armor. 50% of the arms I'm used to. I'll just real quick eat so I don't immediately die. Okay, we're good. Let's go! Huh. Hey! Oh. We're closing in on a monster stronghold. Yeah, I know. You stopped. Oh. No hasty moves here. We have to approach with caution. All right. Well, you you squares can do that. I've got a better idea. Oh. I think I just heard them charging. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's not get crazy here, okay? Oh. Okay, we're already off to a great start. That's fine. That's what all our food is for. make these guys scarier when you're doing this later in the game. There we go. Oh! You can do it. Yeah! Good work, team! Yeah! Ah, oh, I'm so proud of them. <laughs> Hi. If you don't mind, could you come here for a moment? Sure, Haas. Uh. No monster is a match uh. for you, eh, Link? I was told you wield a special sword. Oh, why'd you have to bring that up, man? I don't mean to be rude, but your weapon doesn't seem all that different from ours. Uh. When I heard about reveals its true power when wielded by someone worthy, could that be it? Wait, are you implying I'm not worthy? Man! Hmm. I fought the, the fucking nuclear waste deposit under Hyrule Castle. And I, I lost my arm and my ponytail and my girlfriend Ooh. and my sword. Well, maybe you're just not worthy. All right, bye, Haas. Thanks. Yeah, I'm really feeling the divine protection today. All right, bye, everybody. Rude. Anyway, um, the cool thing is if you do these later in the game, there are, like, Gorons and uh, Zora and Gerudo that fight alongside you sometimes because they're part of the monster control crew, too, which is neat. Well, let's do a little more cooking. Ugh, they're so rude. They're so rude to me. Highly is specialist boy. Anyway. I know we can get the ponytail back, but I'm not going to. I like our new look. Oh, forgot to skip. Great, awesome. 
It's a little bit rough preparing for a save when I'm guaranteed to only have four hearts for this entire stream. I mean, we could be cooking stuff for, like, the more fancy, you know, for when we have actually done some shrines. You know, I suppose, from a certain point of view, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to do some shrines, but not trade in the, uh, the lorbs we get for hearts. I mean, maybe, maybe just a little bit. Maybe, ooh, I don't know. This might be pushing the boundaries of my solemn oath. I don't know. Ooh. Can I, like, make a poll? Is that a thing I can do? I forget. Hold on. Um, no, that's not right. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I just don't know. I just don't know what I want to do. <laughs> I guess not. It's probably it's probably best to not. Oh, but productivity and there's so much game in this game. This this game has so much in it. What's that thing? Oh, it's a weird bird. Okay, cool. <laughs> I made a vow. I swore an oath. <laughs> I rewatched Mask of the Phantasm the other day, and, uh, man. That reminded me because of the whole, like, Bruce Wayne swearing the oath before his parents' grave, and then kind of going back and being like, So, I didn't, like, plan for, uh, meeting this nice girl, you know, wanting to settle down. Alright, cool. I can just unlock the teleportation for the shrines, and that also feels like it might be an okay thing for me to do. Or perhaps it is the slippery slope that leads to the total dissolution of my moral character. I don't know. <laughs> I also think in the DLC they should let you uh, make recall or rewind go for longer so that you can rewind things further. Because I want to ride these babies for miles. Did we already mark that one? Yeah. Oh. Oh! Blood Moon looks weird like this. Well, all our hard work is about to be undone. You guys ready? I'm ready. Oh shit, where are we? I was not paying attention to where that rock was taking us. Oh, we're fine. Those look cool, though. I mean, how bad can Ganon really be if he gives us, you know, vistas like that? And I hear his tax policy is great. Okay, let's get out of here. And, uh... Ooh, ooh, there's a plant down there, I think. Yes, gimme. Perfect. Ooh, I think this is gonna be our first Blood Moon cutscene of this save file. I hear it's different. We've got a moment's respite. Let me look at the chat. Shrines at 3k. I guess we could do a little bit. I guess we could we could at least we could at least unlock some teleportations. I don't know. I just I just don't know. I'm setting the parameters for this and I still don't know what would be cheating. go let's go witness the blood moon's rise mm -hmm. i'm witnessing its red glow shines upon the land the endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh <laughs> In a war long past, the world is 
Uh huh. You good, Zelda? So you're like right by the castle, and I'm like right by the castle. We should, we should, we should meet up. We should hang out. I wonder if you get Link to where that cutscene like camera shows. I wonder if it'll show him. It'll be fun to find out. All right. Well, that was exciting. Ooh, I see a bad guy. You know what that means? It's time to start farming. Guys, what are you talking about? What do you mean Zelda sounded weird and suspicious and kind of out of character? That's definitely the same princess we've been bodyguarding with our life for years and years. She's for sure definitely 100% the right Zelda. Oh. Hello, friend. You know, I really thought you would have been upgraded since the last time. Okay, well, I did say that at 3k we were going to run over to the Colosseum and see what's up with the Lightning Leoc. We're not going to be able to beat it. It's going to kill us if we get close. But we will go take a look. We'll go say hello. We'll smack him on the butt and run away. It'll be great. We'll ding-dong ditch. No, let me search the... Ah, oh, rude. Oh, hello. Sir! Whoops. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay. Oh, I f uh. oh, that's fine. I can just use the stick. Thank you. Ooh, is there a well around here? We should be looking around for those. I hear that certain characters like to draw their water from a well, actually. <laughs> Ooh! Lizards! No! I failed. My sacred duty, my mission. I am lizardless. I can at least I have a tree branch. Let's see, do I have a hammer that can work on this? I do! Perfect! On the end. Ooh! Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Ooh! See? This is the benefit of a grocery run stream. We get all this fun stuff. Uh, and then we have to figure out what to do about that. Maybe that? <gasps> it worked! I'm a genius. Physics has no power over me. My power is max. Okay. Great. Alright, so... I like how these places are still kind of like tragic, whoop, soldiers graveyards and stuff like that. All right, so I've got a, I've got a brilliant plan, brilliant strategy. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. Actually, hold on before I do anything. Oh, uh, what to use? I've got like a million of these. I can fuse one to a stick and be fine. Whoops. Oh, did my stick break? No, I still have my stick. See, my trusty stick. Okay, awesome. Cool. So we're just gonna we're just gonna deal with those guys. I mean they're all you know reds, so it's not gonna be that hard. Cool. All right. Ooh. Hell yeah. Rude. Stop blocking. these style enemies come from? Oh, it's fine. We're fine. No, I wanted this. When in doubt, just scarf three apples and call it a day. Oh, the stall guys. Stop it. Woo! Nope. What is rumbling so much? Oh, it's that guy. Cool, that makes sense. Woo! Stop it! Nope. We need food again. Ah. 
Oh yeah. I seem ready to fight a Gleon. There we go. And we're all good. Alright, who's left? Oh, for crying out loud, my dude! Cool. The sun is up! Take a hint! What's wrong with you guys? Okay, cool. Mission accomplished, I think. Right? Yes. Jeez. Okay, well that was fun. And rewarding. Anyway. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff that we could do, and there's a lot of stuff I do want to do, but a lot of that I am saving for uh, when we do the big charity stream later this summer, so all of the towers, all of the geoglyphs, that's basically going to be the backbone of the stream, but there's other stuff I want to do for that. Um, the goal of this stream is to basically get me some moderately better starting equipment, so I'm not quite as screwed right out the gate. Um, because that means that we, you know, have actual weapons that hit harder than just the things you have on the Great Sky Island. But uh, things that I think would be interesting to do as, like, stream rewards I don't want to mess with. Um, so, you know, if we stumble across a particularly interesting, um, you know, treasure chest that has some fun stuff in it, that's cool, but if I know it's going to contain an armor set, I don't want to do that. And I've been furiously internally debating whether or not we should do shrines. Like, there's like a sliding scale here, okay? So we could either, we could, we could just avoid shrines entirely, which has been my plan A. We could hit the teleport pad on the shrines, but not go inside. So it sets as a warp point, which could be good and fine. We could do the shrine and collect the light orb, but not turn it in for a heart shit. Fuck. Wait, hold on. We haven't activated it. We just know where it is. So this is the other option. We could we could get near enough that it marks on the map and it just pops up and it's like, oh look at that shrine. But we don't we don't hit the button that turns it into a warp a warp point. So, like, yeah, so, <laughs> I don't know. The thing is, there is so much game in this game that I want the big stream that we do to actually be fun. And there's kind of a barrier to entry on how much stuff you need to do before the game kind of opens up, practically speaking. So I'm trying to get as much of that done now as I can without taking too much out of the actually, like, really fun, unique stuff that you get from actually playing the game and making progress. So, okay. Map, but no warp? Love it. That sounds like a plan to me. So we'll get, we'll get, we'll get within spitting distance of any other shrines that we find. So it pops up on the map, but we don't touch it. We know, we know touchy. <sighs> And of course, it goes without saying, we're not touching any of the towers this time. Towers are going to be a mainstream thing. A mainstream thing, huh? It's always kind of weird when you like accidentally reinvent a like a word from first principles. Oh, I'm running low on arrows, actually. Well, I'm not running low on arrows, but I have fewer of them than I wanted. Hey, friends. Hey, that is not being a team player, my friend. Woo! That is extra not being a team player. Okay, let's see. Because it's kind of a, it's a double-edged sword, you know, I don't want to use up the uh, particularly good materials I'm getting just fighting more stuff. Let's use, uh... Oh, let's continue to get through our only okay weapons then. Also, let's drop you. Perfect. 
and you. Great. Awesome. Ooh. Oh, that's the same bow I already had. That's fine. That's okay. Breaking even is still breaking somebody. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Okay. Ooh. Farage is out, baby. Let's see. All right. Reward for 3k is still going to the Colosseum and trying to find that Gliok. My personal plan right now is I want to be able to get up on Virage. I don't care if he starts trying to strike me with lightning. That's the price I pay. Oh my god, I forgot my stamina was so low. But I want it. There's valuable materials I can get from Farage. Valuable materials is the name of the game today. Where am I? Oh, I'm fully sprinting away from- Oh, this is fine. Yeah, we've already been around here anyway. Uh, if only, well, actually, let's see, what, uh, no, nothing I can use here to go fast, it's a shame. That is also a thing I could do, conceivably, without it breaking the things I want to do in the mainstream. Find more of those gachapod dispensers and activate them so they show up on my map. Not necessarily the shrines that are right next to them, don't get the warp point, just, you know. <gasps> yes. We must go up. We must have uppies. Oh, found dueling peaks. That's fun. Okay. Let me on. And now we fly. All right. Now we just need another one of those actually closer to Farage. We should really just camp out on the Great Plateau. That's clearly near where Farage flies. Or maybe we can head him off at the pass. Oh, no. He's going to make it to that before we do. Especially with our garbage stamina right now. Uh, well, I suppose we can get near enough to that shrine to have it proc on the map. That's always... That's something, at least. That's something to soothe my wounded soul. <laughs> this game put me in such a weird headspace the, the week that I was initially playing it, because... Um, so I got into Breath of the Wild Breath of the Wild late in the game. I like wasn't one of the people who played it when it first came out. I knew it existed, thought it was cool. But I didn't play it until Oh my god, what? <laughs> the game lied to me. <laughs> oh, you can dive into water from any height and not die. Poppycock, I say. I've been misled. This game picked a- What? No! This game picked a hell of a time to start enforcing its physics. I'm not in the mood, my man. Whoops. I. Um, anyway, I didn't get into Breath of the Wild early. I was late to it, which meant I didn't get the experience of playing it fresh. And uh, I just thought that would be really cool, but I didn't get it. So. so when Tears of the Kingdom came out, I wanted to play it fresh. Um, and that meant I wanted to get through it as quickly as possible. <laughs> before the internet could and would inevitably spoil the major plot twists or how the ending goes or other things like that. Um, and I succeeded. I actually got through the game without a single major plot twist being spoiled for me, which was pretty incredible. Uh, let's just eat just a little bit. I don't want to get my neck broken again. Um, yeah, just one more for the road. Uh, but anyway... Um, so the first two weeks that it was out, I spent almost all of my time playing it. Uh, and every time I was like, I'm going to take a break. I'm a little bit free. Like the, the stress would slowly grow in the back of my mind that like I'd, you know, someone would spoil something in a thumbnail or whatever. 
and I would learn the big twist of the ending. Uh, I figured out kind of really early some key points of the plot, uh, but I didn't know for sure what they were going to do. And I basically had like one thing I was worried about for the ending. I was like, if they resolve this, then this was excellent writing and I love it. And if they don't, then this was bad because they didn't pay off what they planted. And then they did the thing I wanted them to do and I was happy. But I wanted to find that out for myself. Um, which is why I'm being so vague about this. So that you guys don't need to deal with the, the very thing that I swore to destroy. Anyway. Um, so it put me in this really weird headspace where like I, I was really trying to go through the game quickly. Like, I wasn't trying to speedrun anything. I, I was, you know, I wasn't breaking the physics engine. But I wanted to do everything the game needed me to do as quickly as possible. And this game is not particularly quick to get through. There is a lot of stuff in it. The, my recurring phrase is, there is so much game in this game. And we're sort of dealing with that here. Evening, ma'am. Ah. Uh huh. Okay. Happy to help. Thanks for the food. Oh, <gasps> Yiga Clan. Oh. Oh. Okay. Cool. She's chill. Just happens to like bananas. All right. Good luck with that. I'm not dealing with it. Um. Anyway, so now that I've, like, beaten the game and know how it goes and thoroughly enjoyed it and had my spiritual experience and stared at the wall for two hours after I won, uh, I'm like, a lot of the pressure is off, but the game is still quite slow to build in a lot of ways. All right, let's just skirt near this one, mark it on the map. <gasps> What's that? You need to reach your friend. Tell me more. Hey, little buddy. What's wrong? My friend and I got separated. Your friend Farash? Oh. Oh, come on, kiddo. Yeah. That's such a long way. No. All right. Well, good luck. I'll come get you if I get this shrine ever. Have fun. Bye. Okay, anyway. Um. Okay. We're not going to catch up to Farage, but that's okay. We can have plenty of fun right here. Nobody look at me. I'm invisible. Alright, thanks, gang. Oh. Alright, new angle of approach. Let me up. Thank you. Oh, I love how they do the atmospheric perspective on the Sky Islands. Look at that. Atmospheric perspective is one of those terms that I didn't know, and then as soon as I learned it, it became the only thing I used for like two weeks. I love using words like that. Excuse me, just trying to rob you. Thank you. Ooh, that's pretty good. I will gladly swap out some of my trash tier weaponry for that. Ah, oh, you narc. Get out of here. Skedaddle. Alright, who's next? You. Ha. Uh. Bro. Woo! Ouchies. I keep forgetting they can do the horn thing. Ugh, it's fine. Perfect. I should probably be using... Nah, I'm okay with using this trash weapon on trash enemies. Whoa, hey now. Bro! No, my bouncy stick! Ugh, I guess we can use an actually good weapon. And maybe eat some food again. Just a little bit. Just a skosh. 
Well, let's see how smart they are. Not very, turns out. Well, this is fun, isn't it? Charming. Relaxing. Hmm. All right, who's next? Come on, fellas. There's plenty of room. Ooh, a better shield. See, this is why we do this. This is why we fight. We are warriors. Ugh. I wish they ported Revengeance to Switch. I would love to play that game. I did one of those, like, watching a full playthrough things, but I haven't played it myself, and I just think it would be so fun. That's a game that it is almost impossible to take seriously in the best possible way. Ooh, yes, please. Hey! I said no. No touching. Okay, boss man. You good? Oh, he's good. Is this guy blue or black? Hard to say. Uh, all right, we can do the good shield and the or the mediocre shield, and we are we're still at full health. Yeah, we can. Okay, yeah, I'll come down. I'll come down and play. It's fine. Don't worry. Where are you at, bro? There he's at. Is he stuck? Oh. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. All right, where's my autosave? Come on, man. Help me out here. I like when they start giving me tooltips that feel mildly condescending. At least that one isn't, instead of throwing yourself at the same enemies over and over again. Oh! Bro! <laughs> oh, I forgot. This is the crazy knockback weapon. Boing! <laughs> there they go. Come back. I'm not done with you. Thank you. Okay, he's on his way. Just wanted to be sure. <sighs> maybe we should, uh, maybe we should be, maybe we should be smart about this guy. Maybe just a little bit. No, he's fine. <laughs> Woo! That's okay. Alright, now we heal. Oh, that was not fun. That one was unpleasant. That's okay. Hmm. Come on, guys. Join the party. It's fun. I brought enough for everybody. Let's see. Maybe we can just... Uh, yeah. No, cool. That did absolutely nothing. I guess we could throw some weapons or, like, bombs, but we don't have that many bombs, and I don't really want to waste them on this. I just... I don't know. It's just... Meh. Meh. It's fine. He just one-shotted us last time, and I didn't really like that very much. Well, I'll deal with that problem when it comes. All right. Come on, guys. You know where I'm at. Really, guys? Really? Okay, fine. Fine. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, he's a speedy boy. I like that. Come on, Junior. You can figure this out. Uh-oh. You can figure this out. I kind of hoped you couldn't actually figure that out. Bro, rude. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's fine. 
That's fine. All right, now quickly. Okay, great. Alrighty, how are we gonna do this? Where you going, bro? Where you going, broski? Broseph? Brosidon? Lord of the Brosian? I'll take that. Thank you. Gimme, thank you. Alright, man. Come on, you can do this. You can figure this out. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay. Whew. Uh-huh. 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 Whoa! Oh, that was weird. Come on, getting close. Circle around, circle around. Whoa! No! No! Not again! <sighs> All right, come on. I'll just take an ill-advised sip of this coffee I've had all afternoon. Mm. There's the condescending battle tip I was talking about. Mm-hmm. Okay. mad, guys. I think we made him mad. No, I didn't mean to cut the grass. Ah! Oh, boy. That's bad. Okay. That's okay. Rush will be so cool. Okay, we're taking his health down at a pretty impressive rate. Okay, I think we can just get him if we wail. Come on, one more. Okay! Whew. Whoops, I'm a little bit on fire, but that is a solvable problem. Now let's. Oh. He was only a blue boss, but how did we beat the black one? I guess he had a less impressive weapon. Is that the shrine we already got? Yes. Okay, cool. And by got, I mean respectably marked on the map, but didn't actually touch or go inside or set a warp point for, you know. We're, we're, we're professionals about this. Was I just really good at cheesing that other one? Or did it have a significantly less powerful weapon than this guy? I think that might have been it. No. I don't want you to break without me having to waste my weapon durability. Why are you like this? Alright, fine. Let's just use something shitty. There we go. Wow, so worth it. Actually, this is kind of worth it. I was running low on arrows. Because I've been abusing their power too much. Alright, well that was fun. Where was I going? Oh, right. Farage. Long gone by now. Alrighty. Oh, we can check out Dueling Peaks just a little bit. I feel like there's a Yiga Clan ambush in there, but I think we would need to get the uh, stable side quest for that. Um, maybe we could just go back to the Great Plateau and get ambushed by the Yiga Clan again. Ooh. Oh shit. Hold on. I want that horn attack. I want that weapon. Hey man. What's cracking, big smacking? This is why spears are my second favorite weapon in the game. The only 
The only ones I really tolerate. All right, good. All right, give me your bits. Beautiful, thank you. Okay. Huh. Ooh. That thing's ominous. I mean, who am I kidding? All of these things are ominous. That could be interesting. Let's just get this shrine marked real quick. Just marked. Not opened. <laughs> Unless. Anyway, um, just as a reminder, if we hit 3k... No, no touchy. I must resist the temptation. Uh, if we hit 3k, we're gonna go check out the Gleok Coliseum. The Coliseum with the Gleok in it. The Gleok. That Gleok. And by check out, I do not mean defeat. I mean check out. We can try a little bit so you can see why we are not going to defeat the Gleok. around the ass end of the Great Plateau again. We can always go back up there, get ambushed by the Yuga clan again. Good times. Maybe mark a couple shrines down. Oh my god, I have so little stamina. This is a disgrace. There's not even anything up here! Why did I do this? Alright, what's over here? Something to kill, I think. Alright, fine. Fine. I'll tolerate this begrudgingly. Whoa. I love it when that happens. Nice. I'll take that. Okay. What's happening? You. Oh my god, why? There's so much stuff happening in this camp. No, absolutely not. I refuse. No. Come on, Link. This is the wrong time to be out of stamina. That's kind of cool. I like the backflip into the... Just... Ragdoll! Ooh! No, thank you. Let's just real quick eat something. And, uh... Great. Who's left? Is the other guy dead? He is! How nice. Alright, what's... What's actually left, though? Oh, I'll take that. That whole thing kind of makes it worth it. We could always use more shields. Oh. Somehow that guy over there independently got himself attacked by bees. Through no input of me. Alright, hold on. I have an axe, don't I? Ugh, but it's like my best weapon and I don't want to waste its durability. Ugh, fine. <laughs> One-shotted. Ah! Oh my god, speaking of one-shotted, how did that happen? <gasps> I got a lizard! Finally, the prophecy fulfilled. Alright. Oh, nope, that one's too good. We want the worst Sprite Wild Green. Alright, let me up. Thank you. Eee! Jesus, what is happening today? Alright, anyway. <sighs> I'm really trying to break even on this, you know? Not waste more stuff than we're getting. And it is working out. It's working great on the weapons front. Okay, cool. We're done. Ooh, I'll take that. And let's just real quick sneak up and not upset the beehive. Great. Fantastic. Alrighty, anyway. Oh, yes. So, what we are fundraising for uh, is support for... This is specifically, it used to be called, I think, the Actors Fund. And now it's called, I think, like, the Entertainers Fund or something. 
excuse me, um, they haven't updated the name on YouTube Giving. Uh, but basically, while the writers are on strike, there are a lot of um, other people who are correspondingly out of work, uh, and this is basically a fund to help support them. Uh, I decided I wanted to do this because you may or may not have heard the news earlier today. Uh, the people that are trying to break the strike, like, cartoonishly evilly announced that their cunning plan was apparently to, um, starve out their, uh, striking employees by waiting until they were presumably going to be out of savings and would no longer be able to afford housing before a long, cold winter before they were willing to negotiate. Um, now, this was both extremely evil and very stupid of them <laughs> because, like, short strikes are the ones that aren't great for the union. Long strikes are always incredibly bad for the corporation. Like, that's, that's how strikes work. The longer the strike, the more damage it does to the thing being striked against. Um... So, saying that their plan was to drag it out was, like, first of all, a bluff, and second of all, a bluff that made them look really, really bad. Uh, so, everyone's just been dunking on them and or being completely reasonably outraged at uh, their hot bullshit. And I just thought it would be kind of fun to kick them while they're down. So, uh, fundraising out of spite is as good a reason as any. Um, oh man, I love how they do the shadows of the Sky Islands. So pretty. And if we reach 3k, we're gonna go over to wherever the Colosseum is and uh, probably get one-shotted by a Gleok. How exciting is that? Oh yeah, there are shrines on this island, aren't they? Aren't there, island, I said. I meant Great Plateau. You know how it is. Oh, okay. But yeah, uh, um, there are many reasons why their uh, quote-unquote logic... Um, ooh, falling rock! Don't, uh, don't... Link, come on, man. Give me that falling rock. Where is it? Show me where it's coming down, baby! Oh, heck yeah. I think it hit the roof. Um, so there's, there's a number of reasons why that was really stupid. For one thing, uh, they didn't pay the writers good before. So, like... Like... If there's any population that's used to not having a stable source of income, it's the writers that are currently striking. <laughs> like, this is the this is the most basic thing possible. Like, the longer the the less a person has to lose, the longer they can strike for. And it's just I don't know. They're really stupid. <laughs> um when I told Blue this morning that I wanted to do this stream, he was like, okay, just letting you know, um, the strike is probably not in any danger. In fact, if anything, the, the corporation is probably nearly out of options if they are making such a transparent play as this. And I was like, cool, I still want to do it. I think it'll be funny. Um, so that's, that's, that's the move. Also, like, so many of those writers already had second jobs because they were not earning a living wage on the, the pittance that they were being paid post the streaming boom. Um, yeah, as I understand the situation, uh, basically the various contracts that uh, writers that work for TV networks and distributors had weren't, like, renegotiated when streaming distribution started, which is why there were all those weird things about how sites were, or how, like, shows would be distributed on streaming sources. Like, you'd get two seasons and then they'd be cancelled, or, uh, they'd, like, constantly be shuffling around the names of the streaming services. I, I don't know how legitimate that one is, but, like, HBO Max recently rebranded to Just Max, uh, and I heard that that's because if it's not an official HBO thing, it's not covered by the contracts for the things that were being distributed on it, so they don't need to pay as much... I don't know, it's just that kind of really sleazy bullshit where it's just like... Just fucking pay people, it's not that hard! You guys have too much money! Um... Anyway, so, all that aside... Always good to support the writers and of course the actors and... Other entertainers on the sidelines who are not... Ooh! Found a great fairy fountain, we should mark that on the map. Um... Who are not able to, uh... 
you know, work as the strike is progressing. You know, that's kind of the thing. The, it always seems to me like the way to stop employees from striking is to make it so that by striking they have something important to lose, like money, for instance. So if you make their working and living conditions even worse, eventually they will just not have anything to lose and will thus be able to uh, strike as long as they need to and take you down with them because you gave them absolutely no reason not to. And that's kind of where we're at here. It's like, aha, uh, we've calculated exactly that you should be running out of your savings from our pittance we've been paying you right about October. And it's like, dude, I already couldn't afford a living wage on your pittance. I've been working two jobs because of that. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know. It's just... I think... I think a lot of people kind of buy into this fiction that, like, real-world jerks are very smart and are planning... Th like, they're playing, like, 4D chess... Where it's like, oh, they announced this as part of this cunning strategy or whatever. And it's like, no. A lot of people just kind of have no idea how things work outside of their bubble. And, um, a lot of people are just jerks. So, this was like, it, there may have been a calculation behind this announcement as basically an attempt to bluff. As like, if we make it seem like we could do this all day, they'll crack. And then we won't actually need to struggle with the fact that we're going to completely run out of uh, all the all the writing we already got out of them that you know operates on a like four to twelve month delay in its release. If we tell them that we can starve them out, maybe they'll buy it and stop. And instead, it just made people want to stop them out of spite instead of just out of practicality and maybe a little bit of spite. Oh wait, hold on, we should talk first. Where do you want to go, buddy? Oh, fuck that. Alright, sorry, kiddo. I think you're on your own. <laughs> Unless there's a convenient hot air balloon around here. Is there? There might actually be. Uh, not that I can see. Well, maybe we could, uh... Eh. I don't care that much. He's fine. Oh. I'll just get this Korok. Much more respectable. Bye-bye. Ooh, there's a well back there. Gimme. Yes. Wee! Alright, what do we got? Oh! Whoops. Hello? Uh huh, uh huh. I'm in a place like this. You wouldn't happen to be a well enthusiast, would you? Of course. <gasps> I thought so. My name's Farah. I have a deep love of wells, too. Deep like a... <laughs> it's deep... As deep as a... You get it. Wells are endlessly fascinating. Their damp environments, their unique systems of life, how they stay cool when it's hot outside. Well enthusiasts just get it. The appeal of a good well, that is. <gasps> My dream is to travel around to every single well throughout Hyrule. After scouring all the ancient texts I could find on the subject, I've learned that there are 58 wells. Uh, was, uh, yep, I would love oh. to tell you about the wells I've found. Sure. <gasps> Alright, tell me everything. Ma. Two of them this time. I really thought I found more. Let's see, how many left across? Oh, still 56. Thanks. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh-huh. All right, bye. Great. I don't feel bad about starting that side quest. I'm, in fact, completely cool with that. <laughs> I, I found every single pine cone. Okay. That was fun. 
Let's get out of here. Where the hell are we? Oh, yeah, we're fine. We've barely scratched the surface. Am I right? <laughs> okay, anyway. I miss Cass. <laughs> okay. Oh, those are good guys. Cool. <laughs> Everyone asking me to get a horse doesn't understand that this is how I connect with this game. It's all about the running. Ooh. <laughs> he never even saw it coming. Oh my god, I spent like a straight week ah! listening to Rivers in the Desert. Hold on. <laughs> Before, uh, from fucking uh, Persona 5. So that was, uh, that was fun. I should cook more. That's what I should do. Stop that! Nope! Shit! Oh, I was just about to pause and eat more. <sighs> it's fine. Yes, we could get haunts. But I don't want to subject him to these horrors. He's a pure, innocent soul. Stop telling me about how to enhance armor. I'm doing this on purpose. Alright, take two. That one actually hurt me. So, I, oh yeah, because it's the shield that does the... That's pretty cool. Stop! Ugh! Everybody is so annoying but me. The bestest and specialist boy. Hold on. See? How easy was that? The easiest. Oh, hold on. Can I... No! Let me drop the worst shield that I have. Perfect. Stop that. Awesome. Oh, okay. Great. Mission accomplished. I think that's all of them. Now, we cook. Okay, let's see. Mm, yeah, we can always use more of these. What link is the bestest boy? Hmm. There's been a lot of really good links. Uh... I feel like Wind Waker Link is, like, the most overwhelmingly positive and emotive. Like, I will go to bat for this version of Link, but I will freely admit that he is not the most visually expressive character in the world. Whereas Wind Waker Link has, like, oodles of personality. I would also argue that Twilight Princess Link is the bestest boy by virtue of being the only hero that you could realistically call a very good boy in a context where that sort of makes sense without being weird. Um, I think a more interesting question is which Link is the worst boy? For which I will put my money in on the uh, animated series one that talks. That one sucks. I feel like the CDI games one who also talks. This is the problem. Link, whenever he talks in game, is bad. We all know this. This is why I dread the inevitable movie adaptation, because I guarantee they would not adhere to the rule that Link should shut up. Oh yeah, CDI Link is the one who's like, how about a kiss? That, yeah, that's just wrong. It's all kinds of wrong. That's wrong for our boy. Oh, we are close to 3k. I'm gonna need to start making my way back towards the Colosseum. What the hell is that? Ooh, I know what that is. 
That could be fun. Could also be really bad. Oh, what the heck. I'm willing to give it a shot. What two hedge weapons do I have? Okay, we're going to turn... Eh, that one's a pretty solid club. This one might be better. Let's see what we can fuse to it. Um, do I have anything hefty? Uh, none of these are great for that. I guess maybe one of these. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's tolerable. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, one thing at a time. We're gonna try not to get one-shotted. Won't that be fun and funky fresh? Okay, that wasn't my fault. <laughs> that guy just team killed everybody. <laughs> okay, new plan. We hit the guy with the bomb backpack first. With fire, of course. Really starting to feel that no armor, four hearts life. That's fine. That's what we signed up for. That's what we knew we were getting into. You. I choose you to die. Yes! Ha <laughs> oh. ha! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, Link. Link, I need you to figure your shit out, please. Yes, good. That's what I wanted. Okay, now let's just real quick, let's just real quick, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's, just, let's it's fine. We're fine. Just want to be sure. Bro! See? I was right. I made the correct decision. I didn't die this much in my other save. I feel like this is reflecting poorly on me. No! Alright, fine. Whatever. Hold on. Let's just get that last quarter of heart back. Who's the other person we need to kill? Anyone who has bombs on, we need to kill. You. For sure. Right? Wait, did that not work? Why? Alright, we're just gonna let them destroy each other. In their anger. In their hubris. Alright, like my man! Whoa! Come on. Figure this out. There we go. That's the real pro strat. Ooh. That's a strat. Don't, 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 don't. Don't you do it. I'm trying to hit this other guy. Stop that. That's fine. We're good. Good. It's all coming together. All right, you. All right, now. We do the... No, Link. Okay, now we switch to... Are we about to get flung clear? No. Nice. That's okay, I think we're good. Come on, buddy. No! My stamina is so trash! That's okay. Oh, I see. We fall into the water here and it doesn't save us. Whatever, man. It's a scam, is what I'm telling you. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, time out. Okay, we're good. Oh, now he notices me. Oof! It's fine. It's cool. It's cool. That's why we fried up all those greens. We're so we're ready. We're eating our vegetables. Let me up. Let me up. You fool. That's okay. That's cool. We're good. 
Don't worry, guys, I'm a professional. Okay, for fuck's sake. Link, your stams. Your stams, Link! Stop it. <laughs> this normally works. <laughs> Ugh, it's one more hit. I can tell. I can smell it. Stop. <laughs> Woo! Okay, cool. All right, take three. Cool, it's fine, it's cool. We're learning. This is important. Stop telling me how to enhance armor. <laughs> okay. Does that guy not have bombs anymore? I feel like they're all gone. That's fine. We have brought our own. We brought one own. Hey! Bro! Okay, I found the one that has the bombs. <laughs> Look, we ragdolled perfectly flat. <sighs> ah, the perils of saves coming. Okay. destroy themselves because they're idiots. Oh. Why? Okay, cool. Alright. This is already going better. See, that's how that's supposed to work. Ooh, how nice! We're right at the top. That's where I like to be. Okay, let's see. Perfect. Bro! That is extremely rude of you. You're harshing my vibe. All right, hold on. Bro. Hey! Rude. Okay, great. Now back to business. Come on, get it out of your system. You can do it. All right, one more? You got one more in you? One more in you, big man? Good. Okay. That's okay. Why am I crouching? I don't want to be crouching. There we go, sheesh, okay. All right, now stay right there. That's fine, that's cool. That's what we have food for. Whew. Let me up, I said let me up, there we go. I don't know why that only sometimes works. I wonder if it's mashing me into a crouch. Bastard. Would you just take your lumps? Okay, fine. It's cool. Let me up. I can tell it. it's right there. Jeez. I said let me up. I said let me up. Thank you. Jeez. Ah, you'd think I'd have this down to a science by now. But every day is a new adventure. One more. Well, now one more. There we go. Okay. That was fun. And we only died like four times. Yep. All right. Get it out of your system. Great. Awesome. And now... Now I've got a big bat. Now I'm ready to see. 
Now my troubles are going to have troubles with me. Okay, cool. That is an acceptable, halfway decent, tolerable even. All right. Oop. Oh, okay. Hold on. Yeah, let's get rid of some of these trashed here, disappointing bows. Replace them with better ones. All right, that was fun. What have you guys been up to? I see a conversation about pineapple. Weird. Okay. Oh, that's cool. They've got, like, bits. You can build bits. Oh, I guess I killed a guy out here. That's neat. Why is this called Gliok Bridge? I require an explanation. Okay. We seem fine. But you never know. What's your uh, favorite regular enemy slash overworld boss? Oh man, um, I really like the gloom hands. They are so terrifying, but I also like that they cannot climb vertical surfaces, so they are remarkably easy to avoid. I kind of, <laughs> when people are like, what would you change about this game? I think I'd make the gloom hands worse. I'd make it so that they could go up things. That would be awful, right? That would just make them significantly more terrifying. Like, you'd be, instead of just climbing up something and waiting them out, you'd be running the whole time. I just think that would be so funny. Oh. Well, we're near 3k. Where we would need to go check out that friendly fella. We're quite close. <laughs> I like this, like, stealth paparazzi photography thing I'm doing. <laughs> no, guys, it would be great. It would be so much fun. They would be significantly worse. Um, way harder to avoid. I just think it would be really exciting. As things stand, you get a little bit of, like, ludonarrative dissonance because, you know, they are this absolutely terrifying, confusing thing, but you could just kind of climb a high place and then they, like, grapple around all confused and then they evaporate into a useful cooking object. Which just doesn't really feel on brand for this thing of horror. And, like, especially in a game where Link traumatically lost an arm, I just think the nightmare arm monster could stand to be a little scarier. You know? It's just me. It's just me. You're just playing devil's advocate, guys. You know, somebody has to. Uh. <laughs> it would not be fun and you're a monster. Oh, guys, don't knock it till you try it. Anything could be fun. I absolutely adore that they just gave us a sound. They didn't have to do that, but I'm, I, I'm glad that they did. She said Ludo narrative dissonance, everyone take a shot. But you know what I haven't said yet? Good game design. Ah, shit. All right. Come on, let me up. Won't it be fun? It'll be so fun. Let me... Hope. 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 Come on. Give me. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Don't make me climb. Why are you doing this to me? Oh. What the... Okay, I guess we can just do that. Well, commenter, the heart club thing didn't look phallic to me until you said that, but now that you have said that... Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Well, I suppose we haven't hit 2k or 3k yet. So, we're gonna hang out here, and then we're gonna do something if we hit 3k. If we hit 3k, I'm gonna paraglide down there and shoot it in the face, and then we're gonna see how little that did to its health bar, and then we're gonna try to run away. Sounds good to everybody? Cool. Okay, awesome. I like the idea that whatever Lionel was living here was just like, absolutely not, and just fucking peaced out. Or, more realistically, 
I guess it's not entirely clear, like, if the Blood Moons have been happening continuously for the last six years since Breath of the Wild. It would be kind of cool if they sort of waned while uh, Ganondorf was, like, still sealed, but, like, between calamities. I don't know. Oh, man. Favorite Tears of the Kingdom Edition is also Gloomhands. Uh, but realistically, it's the Flying Islands. I just love how much more game there is in this game. For all the sassing I give about how there's too much fucking game in this game. I like how much game there is. I like that there's the entire explorable overlo uh, overworld, and then to make up for the fact that you've already explored it, there's also the entire depths and uh, the entire sky islands. My only complaint is I wish there was more of it. I feel like there must exist somewhere a perfect Zelda game that would actually leave me like fully sated, where I would be like, that's good. I'm, I'm happy with this much game. Oh, we're creeping up. We're getting close. <laughs> oh, it's getting rainy. How appropriate. The weather knows. The drama is approaching. Hmm. Is there anything else we want to mark? Can we see any other geoglyphs from here? I think we're on the wrong side of these mountains for it. Oh, there we go! Alrighty, kids, let's go! Let's see, let's equip our strongest bow. A whopping 24 damage. Great. We've got our most powerful shield, which we can't keep because it's metal. I think this one is also metal. We'll find out in a second. Uh, and a sword that is going to get struck by lightning. You ready, kids? We don't have enough stamina for this. Woohoo! It's I think it's noticed us, fellas. Oh! Out of stamina, out of stamina, out of stamina! So that's why we're not gonna fight the Gleok. <laughs> I like that I died so fast that chat was only just catching up to me picking the fight with the Gleok. <laughs> let's do another one, but this time, let's not waste all of our stamina first. All one-third of our stamina wheel. Mm. That did not help. It did not help. Nope, nope, Link. No, no! <laughs> Oh, we were almost behind that pillar. I'm sure that would have saved us. <laughs> this is fun, right, guys? All right. <laughs> we're going to do one more. Just one more. If we can get, like, its first health bar down. I was kind of hoping the eyes would show its health bars. Because normally it does that. But I think there's a way. I think if I believe in myself. And my friends... And the heart of the cards. I think if I... If I'm very, very good... Oh, I see. I see the health bars. It just means nothing. Cool. Alright, we're just gonna hide behind this pillar real quick. Come on, buddy. Okay. Yeah, we can make this work. See? How hard could this really be? I'm a master of stealth. He has no idea where I am. I'm a genius. He's flying. It's flying. Let's try fusing something. Maybe that'll do it. Using something did not help. It did not help. And we're out of stamina again. Link! Link! Come on! <laughs> Woo! I'm amazed this is going as well as it is. Oh, look at that health bar. Look at what that health bar looks like. You know what? I changed my mind. We're going back down. <laughs> they fly now. Alright, good news, guys. I don't think it can get us back here. 
We're completely fine. Alright, so another 300 or so of those, and he might start feeling it. Um, <laughs> am I using my shitty bow? Ah, I was using my shitty bow. I mean, I think we're legally obligated to try with the good one. Hello? Where you going, little buddy? Where you going, my friend? Aw, oh, he's all tuckered out. He's just resting. <laughs> okay. Surprise! I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's really feeling these now. Oh, boy. <laughs> Errors have been made. The risk I took was calculated, but man, am I bad at math. Oh! Ah, got me from the side. Didn't see it coming. <laughs> okay. So that's why we're not going to kill a Thundergliok this time. <laughs> wow, you're doing a whole three pixels more of damage. Yeah, see, you get it. Link has been Yamchid. All right, so we're leaving. But I think we all learned something today. And that's the greatest treasure of all. Oh, that one is wearing stone armor. That's okay, we know what to do. Hmm, where'd he go? Oh, he blew up. That's right. Hello, guys? Where are you? Oh, I see. Oh, that one's getting attacked by bees somehow. I say somehow, as if that was not my fault. No, my blind Boko Reaper, I needed that. Quick. <clears throat> That's okay, we've got other things we can use. Like this trusty stick. Oh no, don't also attack me with bees. Hell yeah. Great, everything's coming up me today. Okay. Let's see, let's, uh, yeah, let's get rid of that. <clears throat> what other horrifying nightmare creatures should we pick a fight with and then die? I suppose we could try the Hylia Bridge Gliok. But it's not gonna have a health bar that's any less ridiculous. Hmm. We need something for... 4k. Oh, I just don't know. We already got absolutely eviscerated by a Thundergliok. I mean, are there any more worlds to conquer, really, at that point? Um, maybe... Maybe at 4k, we uh, drop down the nearest hole into the depths and just kind of survive as long as we can. There's a lot of valuable resources down there. It makes sense for a grocery run. Everything we're doing is completely on theme for this grocery run stream. <laughs> okay, that's farther in where we've been. Uh, I want... Which of the dragons is there? Okay, we're actually pretty far away from all of them except for Farash. He is around here somewhere. Castle run? Eh, we're trying to avoid anything, like, too plot-centric. I mean, there's cool stuff that we could be doing, but... Gloom hands could be fun to deal with, I just don't remember... Well, I do remember one place where they are. Might be a little hard to get that far north without any armor, especially. But we could do it. Yeah, 
They do a really good job of making it so that you always know how to orient yourself around the castle. I guess you could say it's game design of a superior blade. Anyway, let me help. Uppies? No, too small for uppies. That's okay. Oh, I don't want to do Gibdos. They are so easy to deal with when you have elemental attacks. But I am such an underleveled scrub right now that I do not really have under, uh, elemental attacks. Oh, Farage! He's out! I saw his tail. Oh my god, my stamina! This is disgraceful, Link. You could do better. Ooh, a treasure chest. Am I being attacked by something? I am being attacked by something! Stranger danger! That's my purse! I don't know you! Oh god, there's so many of them! Great. This is awesome. I love this right after getting my shit pushed in by a Gleok. It's really fucking comforting. Thanks, guys. Alright, let's switch to a better weapon. I have no better weapons. Let's switch to a worse weapon and get rid of it. Yes! They're perished by my blade, villain. See, that was fine. We're fine. Alright, let's see whatever's in there. Oh, wait, I remember this one. This is the clever tutorial for what these stake thingies do. I guess, spoiler alert, but it's fine. Come on. Great. Woohoo! And it wasn't plot relevant enough for us to feel bad about that. Alright, we are even further away from Farage than we were the last time he was flying that route, but I'm still holding out hope. I think we can do it. Of course, we don't have a warp point that's closer to there, so we just have to run after him again, but... I wonder which hole he's coming out of. There's only so many of them. Hmm. Alright. We are sort of a little bit running around in circles. Let's see. Let's go... Uh, we could do east of Hyrule Castle. Why not? Just a little bit. Don't want to stumble across Impa anywhere and accidentally start that quest line way before I want to. Let's see. Okay. We could also just camp out by that one uh, hole into the depths and just wait for Farash there. Jump in after them. I mean, if we had like 20 minutes to burn while well, not doing a whole lot, we could absolutely do that. But... I would like to do other stuff. But the Hylian Shield... It's okay, so where is the Hylian Shield? I don't think I've even found that in my other save. Chill is behind me. The docks after lighting a bonfire? Oh, shit. Hold on. Please hold. Is that the Hylian shield at the castle docks? Oh, hold on. The castle docks. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we could do that. You know what? Yeah, okay. How about at 4k, we uh, figure out how to get the Hylian shield. This is a grocery run after all. This is entirely on brand. 
Oh my god. I have to cook more. Why are you guys like this? Why are you like this? It's like find an exact change. Nope. No thank you. Not today. You guys done? Wow, you're persistent. Okay. Stop dodging. You're so rude. get out of here. Cool, that was fun. All right, where are we going? Oh, fully the opposite direction of where I wanted to go. Eh, yeah. For fuck's sake. Okay, fine, we can kill him. Whatever. Sniper duel. Okay, that was worth it. I like having arrows. Um... Uh, did I catch a horse yet? Yes, uh, technically, because this is connected to my other save file. So we have Ganonhorf. And also Hans. We already marked that one off, didn't we? Yeah, we did. This is the direction I was going in. Now I remember. I remember. Okay. Why have you not unlocked more of the map? Because that is going to be the primary goal of the big summer blowout stream that we're going to be doing, similar to our Stray stream last year. Uh, we are going to be, at my behest, I will be doing an all towers and all geoglyphs run. So that will be the backbone of the stream, and then we will have other things attached to it as like, hey, if we hit this tier reward, I'll also go and do this other thing. Okay, you... Where are you trying to get to? Speak, friend. Wait, I've already talked to you, haven't I? Oh yeah, you're the one with the stupidly far away friend. Yeah. All right, cool. Anyway. Yeah, cool. We're getting in some exploring. How long do you plan to stream tonight? Good idea, uh, or good question. Uh, I have no idea. I feel like at some point I'm just going to hit a wall and I'll need to stop because my body is going to give out. You know, the responsible way. Oh yes, we're also not doing any shrine- well the thing is I've been negotiating the shrines thing, okay? So, so initially it was just we're not getting near shrines. Right now, the compromise is we can get near a shrine enough that it gets marked on the map, but we don't set it as a warp point and we don't go inside. So we're just sort of filling the map with things that I will know to steer towards. Oh, for fuck's sake. You good? You done? Thank you. Great. Awesome. Anyway. See, I was in camp. I could be collecting light orbs and then, like, you know, have them and not turn them in for, uh, for hearts yet. So I, I'm ready to get powered up, but I'm not powered up yet, but... That feels like it's a little bit following the letter of the law, but not the spirit for a challenge I set myself for my own benefit. So, you know. Yeah, so we're just kind of getting a little bit close and, you know, just, just enough to give him a nice little smack on the bum and a, a kiss a kiss and then... I'm sleepy, guys. It's been a long day. <laughs> I came off like a three-hour Heart of Olympia stream and then immediately was like, I should do another stream. That sounds healthy and fun. And I was right, because I only ever make good and correct decisions. We probably shouldn't go to Kakariko. There's a lot of side quests there. Wait, am I moving the wrong way again? 
Yes, I want it this way. But there's a river, and that's a little bit annoying. Anyway, what are you guys up to? Well, we're at 3.1, that's good. Then sleep, I'll sleep when I'm dead. Or, you know, when I've got all this Tears of the Kingdom out of my system. Oh, cool, where are you trying to get to, little friend? My friend and I got separated. Ugh. He's sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up, but I can't move. Ugh. Let's just brute force this. Come here, you. Quit whining, it's fine. You're lucky I didn't fuse you to my shield and sir. Ha 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 ha. No, I'm just kidding. I value your well-being. Can't see shit when I'm steering like this. Okay, we're fine. Like a bunch of heroes. We're pointedly ignoring that geoglyph to our right. We pretend we do not see it. That's later stream stuff. Okay? Okay. I'm kind of trying to strike the balance of, like, leaving the most interesting challenges for the uh, main, like, later summer big charity stream, where it's going to be, like, ten hours and we're going to have a bunch of people just coming on and talking and having a good time. Um, while also, like, making myself, like, powered up enough that it's not an absolute nightmare to do. Wait a gosh darn minute. You're luring me into danger, aren't you? Oh no, it's fine. It's just a river pal, but I'll deal with that later. <sighs> but yes, I would, uh... So I, I do think... I'm just saying, I do think an argument could be made that it wouldn't be the end of the world if I did, like, a couple shrines. You know, to have. If I had shrines. Just be a thing. It's a thing I could do. Just saying. But I'm just kind of trying to weigh how like how fun it would be to watch me wa uh, do a bunch of shrines in the middle of also doing all the sh towers and geoglyphs and all the other fun challenges. Oh boy, two little poops. Thanks. Bye. I don't know. I just. It's just, you know, oh wait, I know this person, and I'm not interested in this minigame. So we're gonna steer the right the fuck clear of that one. Ugh, okay, let's see, what the hell is up there? I'm not curious, let's find out. No, let me up, what's happening? Link? What? Link, you need to explain to me why this isn't working. Are they seriously going to make me, like, build a thing to get up a ladder? Is that where we're at right now? Is that where we're at? Alright, you. Oh, wait. Perhaps I meant to use that spring I spy in the distance? Or maybe even... That fan. It's fine. It's cool. Cool. Alright. Are we good? Are we awesome? Are we ready? Woo! Oh. Cool. There's nothing here! Alright. Uh, we're gonna just... Nope. Just looking away. We pretend we do not see it. What am I looking at right now? Are we at the base of... Oh, it's Dueling Peaks. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I guess we could go kill whatever that thing is. Ooh. I think that platform is only there to highlight how high the springs can bounce you. Which is kind of cool. But I wish they put like a treasure chest up there with like 20 rupees in it. Then it would have felt like it was, you know, a reward. Come on. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Now. Uh, yeah, 
this is probably safe. I was correct. Completely safe for me. Anything interesting in here? Uh, no. <laughs> I feel a little bad, but not a lot bad, you know? <laughs> okay, how do I break this? Hmm. Let's see, what do I have to fuse this thing to? Cool. All right. Mission accomplished. All right, what's in here? Hmm, more explosives. Sounds safe. No, one more. There we go. Ah. Oh, we can deal with this. Wait. No, we can't. We're out of bombs. We're only as out of bombs as we are out of creativity. Oh. Hmm, that didn't do what I wanted it to. Well, we can always try again. Possibly a little more carefully. I really wish the camera would fucking cooperate on this, but... Come on, get closer, see what happens. It'll be exciting. Perfect. That's what I like to see. I am, however, out of bombs. Oh, that's okay. Guys, it's not a war crime. This is not a world that has the Geneva Conventions. Interesting. Huh. Okay. I shouldn't have done that. Cool. still out of bombs, unfortunately, which does make this a little bit difficult, but I can always just hit them with a heavy weapon and it'll be fine. That's a thing I can do. I must. I must. I suppose I can. Ooh. Ooh. Link, I need you to move, my man. Okay, thank you. Great. Later, bitches! Okay. I think this is a very sustainable strategy I'm using right now. Woof. Okay. We got one of them. Oh boy. Everyone's getting real fucking confident with these bats and I don't like it. Breather, we'll break, some slack, then it's back to the grind. Okay, who's left? Just you? Great! Cool, that was so worth it. Actually, it might have been. Let's see what we got. Okay, that's good. We want that. And you? <laughs> that's oh, that's so. No, absolutely not. I'm. I cannot be trusted with that. Maybe go find Hestu. I would not mind finding Hestu. You guys were gonna need to tell me where he is, but other than that. Oh, 
Oh, fusing armor parts to a shield would be a good idea. I mean, I already have one of those, but... Okay, just a little bit. Cool. It's not too bad. Stick, stick. Cool. Okay. Pestu is on the way to Rito Village. Okay. Mm, it's not unmanageable. Oh, you know what? While we're here, let's break these crates and see what's inside them. Great. So worth it. Oh, come on. Come on, you coward. There we go. Hester's on the way to the tower that's near the first geoglyphs you do. Oh, yeah, he's being attacked by the trees. Um, yeah, we could do that. It's kind of up near where Impa is, so it's already marked on our map. It wouldn't be unmanageable. I mean, like, we could. We could do that. We could do that. We go over here. Well, we're on our way to Hestu. Yeah, ha ha. Great. Bye bye. Okay. Let's see. Ah, we could warp back to look out landing, or we could just, you know, make our way downtown. Good move. <sighs> okay. I do wish that all the characters that we, like, dealt with constantly last game recognized us. Like, it's a little bit weird that Hestu doesn't recognize us or know who we are. <laughs> Alright. We're just gonna shortcut across the geoglyph. We're not gonna do anything weird. Oh, fuck, I forgot my stamina is so low. Oh, oh all my muscle memory in this game is wrong. Okay. What did I say we were going to do at 4K? I feel like it was something blatantly self-destructive. Just how we like it. Ooh! Is that what I think it is? <laughs> I said... Yeah. Oh! Do we have another one of these in us? Actually, this one looks kind of weenier than the other one. No, you didn't see me. Go away. Yeah, may as well. We could have another Talus heart. After all, this is for heavy weapons only. And these guys aren't loaded up with bombs and shit, which is already off to a better start. That there was a dragon. I saw it. Why am I using my shittiest armor or hammer weapon? Come on, we want to break even on this one again. Stop it! Why are you like this? Alright, let's have a little apple. Just a little one. Ah, bro! Oh, I didn't have a send up, that's why. Okay. That's fine. We're, we're good. We're good. It's cool. Let's switch to a slightly less trash weapon. But just slightly. We don't want to ruin our brand. <laughs> it's dead! Ooh. Thank you, Talus. Let me up, let me up, let me up. Ooh. Alright, standing under its ass. Not my best decision. That's okay. Uh, 
Alright, let's just kill the other guy real quick. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Great. Awesome. Let me up. We just discussed this. Thank you. Okay, now, switch to the heavy weapon and get some spin attacks in there. Bro! Why? Link, my man. What the? Oh, camera's not helping me today. Okay, fine. Whatever. Cool. Okay, it's cool, it's fine. Everything is chill. Physics goes a little bit hinky when that happens. It just feels a little bit weird. All right, and great. Stop. Oh, I'm gonna need to cook again. Bro, you're really harshing my extremely cool and unbothered vibes. <laughs> okay, I think we can just do it now. There we go. Great. Good work, team. You can use recall on taluses? Yo! Well, you learn something new every day. Oh, yeah. Uh, we don't need that one. I, like, recall, I think I've only sort of gotten the hang of, you know? Like... A lot of these I sort of got a feel for. Ascend, use that shit like a champion. Recall, definitely not as good at. <laughs> I uh, only recently figured out you can use them when fighting flux thingies. I was trying to ascend up onto their platform thing and it just was not working. Do you guys remember what I said we were going to do for 4k? Because I fully don't. Okay, let's see. Where was I going? Oh, right. I was looking for Hestu. Theoretically. Hylian Shield, that's right. The docks by the castle. You guys were gonna need to let me know where that was. Easy link. Come on, spin to win. Oh boy. Oh, come on. Okay. No! <laughs> Not today, Satan. Okay, 
Back to business. All right. So you guys said that Hestu was like on the way to the geoglyph. The first one, the Impa one. All right, we can deal with that, I think. Uh, what's your favorite new armor? I really like the ancient heroes aspect. Okay. Ancient Heroes aspect I'm interested in, because I'm not sure I've gotten that one, unless it's one of the um, previous game outfits, like the uh, Fierce Deity set, or something like that. Oh, yeah, I guess I could save. Guys, it autosaves very nicely. We're good. The ancient heroes aspect you get for getting all the shrines. Oh, okay. I, I'm at the point with the shrines where I think I might need to look up like a map of where they all are because I've gotten all the ones that are on top of light roots. I've gotten all the shrine quest one quest ones I could find. Like I'm at like 146 of them, so I know there's more, but I also know there's not many more. Oh, I already got that one. Cool. Which Breath of the Wild power do you miss the least? Oh, I miss all of them. Um, I guess I miss Mipha's Grace the least because that's kind of a power that's passive until it procs, whereas I use Rivali's Gale actively a lot, Urbosa's Fury. I guess, realistically, I miss Urbosa's Fury the least because I was using that one the least on purpose. It just kind of happened. Hundred and fifty two shrines in total. Oh man, I'm really scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna reach Lookout Landing and then we're gonna go in the direction of Impa, but we're not gonna catch up to Impa. We're gonna be chill and fine about it. And we're gonna find Hestu and he's gonna expand band our stash. And that's gonna that's gonna be that. And for 4K, the idea was we're gonna get head towards the castle and find the Hylian shield. There are a few. Mm, uh, I don't know. There's a few things we could do that are. No, fuck off. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to get back home, man. Ugh, you just can't walk through this neighborhood anymore. Fine. Ugh. <laughs> You guys are so annoying. Okay. Oh no, my cobble arm is badly damaged. Alright, let's just, uh... Wait, no! I needed that! I wanted to drop this one. There we go. Much better. In fact... Perfect. The most powerful and devastating weapon known to man. <laughs> Who needs the Master Sword, am I right? Hey, buddy. Gems aren't just pretty little rocks, you know. Take them to a shop to make easy money. If you gather lots, you'll get rich quick. Of course, that's not the only thing you can do with gems. Take, for example, a sapphire. It's cool and pleasant on the tongue. Or try a ruby, which offers a tender and delicate warmth. Mmm, I'm drooling again. Cool. All right, catch you later, home slice. No, I want to catch fireflies. Why? It's fine. Okay. Huh. Alright, you guys are gonna need to direct me to Hestu because I fully don't remember where he is. Oh, okay. Mm, does anyone know how much damage the Master Sword actually does? That's a really good question. It was weird to me that it didn't list it. Like, it'll show however much bonus it's getting from whatever you have fused to it, but it just won't tell you, like, how much base damage it does. 
I assumed it was 30, like, same as the first game, but, you know, they could have really, like, spiced it up and it would have been fine. Let's see who's on the path leading up to the tower that is near the first geo growth. Okay, awesome, cool. We're just gonna start a lookout landing and go from there then. Are we coming at the castle from a really weird angle? No, no we're not. Lookout landing is there. Oh, lookout landing is there. I was coming at it from a slightly different angle. Oh, I wish I wish they did better than 30. I feel like after marinating in power for 10,000 plus years, it could stand to do a little bit more damage than it did before that. I don't know. And it would make sense if they doubled it when it glows, because that's what it was supposed to be in the first game. I don't know. Okay. Leave me alone. Actually, what am I doing? Fuck off. Oh no, my goblin arm is badly damaged. That's okay. Where's the other one? Aha! No, my bacoblin arm on bones broke. That's okay. There's more where that came from, right? Ah, no. I guess they've been disarmed. Okay, let's see. Oh, right. I'm out of weapon. Okay. Well, let's go back to breaking the shitty one. Adventure! Hello! Good work, me. Yeah, good work, you. Alright, let's see. Impa! Okay, so it's out the east road and then just kind of straight up. Yeah, okay, we'll find his too. Actually, that's absolutely the west road. I don't know why I said east. Oh, I hope we get ambushed by more Yiga members. We could always use more swords. Normally I have a no talking to strangers policy, but I think for this one we should absolutely make an exception. Hmm. Okay, I think... Let's see. It... Yeah. I think I'm gonna aim to call it in like half an hour. Cause I've been streaming for about four hours already. And normally I go longer, but I also normally start earlier. Slightly different. Ooh, that, oh, excuse me. Miss? Where'd it go? Oh no, I've, I've yoed it too far. Ah, there we go. So, in that intervening time, if we can hit 4k, we will go and get the Hylian Shield, which I think would be pretty exciting. Um, we're gonna try and find Hestu before that. I'm sure he's somewhere along this road. <laughs> I do love the, uh, ooh, star. Oh, but it's so close to sunrise, we're never gonna make it in time. What just made the ground shake? Oh, hello, friend. Ow. Stop that. Thank you. I'll take those, though. Great. All right, let's get back up to full, just real quick. Just super quick, just super chill. Why don't I horse? Because I keep forgetting it's an option. And also the way I play, I don't want to accidentally kill my horse. I got a new horse earlier, and I accidentally shot it with an arrow, and then it got shot by a bacoblin, and it didn't die, but it did run off, and I just don't want that happening to a horse I actually care about. Whew. 
Let's do minus 1700, 1070, 200. I don't know if that's correct, because I think that 200 is on the z-axis. Ooh, hold on. We found a well. Not now, tree thingy. Oh! No thank you. All right, later, fellas. Actually, I suppose killing like likes would be a really good way to get more stuff. Okay, hold on. Back down we go. Oh yeah, and I wanted to boop Farash at some point. He's hard to get to, but I do want to try. Nope. Come back. Why am I not using my better weapons? Oh wait, I know why I'm not using my better weapons. I don't want to waste my better weapons. Thank you. Great, all right. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, fucking stop it. Just die, thank you. Okay, cool, we're good. It's cool. Always a little bit alarming how these guys have definitely canonically nope. eaten like soldiers. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's still better than that. Can I? No. Okay, that's all right. It's fine. Ooh, and we have some rocks that we can break. That sounds fun. Uh, you. Wow. Okay, pretty good. Great. I'm sorry, spiky lizards, I failed you. Or sticky lizards. Okay, um... Right, anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, we're trying to find Hestu, then at 4k we're going to try and find the Hylian shield, and between that, I'm going to try and get up on her- what the? Oh, this is higher up than I expected. What the hell is the road? No! Okay, that's not what I- it's fine. We'll just go back up. Anyway. Eh. Cool. Yeah, I don't trust that underpass. We're going over it. Oh, I guess I could trust that underpass. What if it only exists for going up and over? Oh, I see. Sure, I'll take a free Korok. Thank you. Yeah, ha, ha What on earth are you people talking about? Oh, it's the like-like, isn't it? I should have known you guys couldn't be trusted with that concept. Nope. No, 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 no. Thank you. Hello? Ooh, is this that well person? Ori Tomlu. Huh. Okay. Oh! What? Huh. Okay, cool. I had no idea this existed. You can tell I really didn't do the uh, expected meandering around lookout landing because I was too stressed about finishing the game as quickly as possible. Actually, you know, while we're here, we may as well, you know, cook a little bit. No, my spiky bat. Now I have nothing but my bokoblin arm to keep me company. Okay. Huh. Oof. 
What are you guys talking about? <laughs> okay, there we go. Someone's being thirsty, I see. Maximum defense up, that's good. Um, oh, we can always use a few more of these. Cool, all right, you guys have hit the exact same level of silliness that I have, so. Admittedly, a rather different flavor of silliness, but who am I to judge? Great. Um, let's just do some regular, just like, more hearts. Great. Okay. Back to what I was doing before. Ugh. I mean, I guess. I guess we can. Actually. Well, that's kind of not what I wanted to do, but whatever. Stams. Bad time for you to run out of stams, Link. Okay. Fucking quit it. There we go. Great. Okay, great. Good work, team. different cool oh nice all right great it's all coming together uh probably attached to you that's worthwhile hmm? <laughs> it's minecraft now all right anyway Ooh. oh never mind i thought it was exciting and it wasn't Well, I guess we can pop into this cave real quick. Just a little bit, just real quick. Hey, buddy. No, don't mind me. We're checking out the same cave, it's fine. Hello, are you a Yiga clan member? Uh... Then you're useless to me. <laughs> don't scare me like that, my poor heart can't take it. Are you by chance looking for bubble frogs too? That's right. Uh... Aha, I knew it, they must have asked you too. Supposedly, there are creatures called bubble frogs that live in caves. They're bluish and whitish and stick to walls. Fun stuff! Ah. And those two folks at Woodland Stable in Northeast Elden. Curious pair, very strange, maybe a little off. They're looking for something the bubble frogs drop. They asked me to do the collecting. So, did they ask you to? Ah. Offered treasure in exchange. Good treasure. It was a sweet deal. At least it would have been. But I don't know the first thing about cave creatures. Uh, fuck it. Okay, cool. Awesome. Bye! Oh, there's stuff in this cave. Lots of stuff. No. Bro. You. Oop. Ah! Okay. I've changed my mind. We're not going to spend any more time in this cave. Great. Anyway, we're trying to find Hestu. That's what really matters. Okay, so that's the Impicide quest, which we are not going to touch. So where is Hestu? Great, new Seren stable. 
get close to that shrine. Oh, pardon me. Down the road, just past the stable. Okay. Alright, bye, Impa. Further up the path, closer to the tower. Alrighty, it's happening. What a nice and relaxing wind down this has become. And I'm pretty happy about the weapons we've accumulated. I think it'll make uh, the doing of shrines more exciting and easy. The combination of the two. Like, there's a, there's like a bell curve of how fun it is to watch. And on one end of the bell curve, there's so hard that absolutely no progress is being made. And there's, on the other end of the bell curve, so easy that absolutely nothing is happening. And in the middle, there's, I know enough to make this, ah, there he is! My beautiful broccoli man! Don't panic, my friend. I'm coming for you. Oh, hold on. I'm coming for you, but I gotta make sure I don't get struck by lightning first. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We can figure this out. Okay, we're good. Great. Great, 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 great. Spectacular. Uh, I mean, look on the bright side, Hestu. Maybe the uh, lightning will solve the tree problem for you. Oh no, Shataka! He looks so sad. Hello, my friend. Those trees over there, so scary, Shataka. Hmm, they don't look so scary to me. Don't worry, Hestu, my man. I'll help you out. After all, we've been through so much. Now we're just gonna try real hard to not get hit by lightning. <laughs> Great. Mission accomplished. Oh no, the lizard. Shalakala. <gasps> the scary things are gone. Great, let me put this weapon away before I get struck by lightning. Please, Hestu, please. <gasps> you see me? You see me! My name is Hestu. I'm the musician of Korok Forest up northeast. I'm known for my maracas and my dancing. Thanks for your help. Shashaka, to show you my appreciation, I'll do a little dance for you and make your pouch bigger. <laughs> My maracas aren't working anymore. The Koroks eat inside are all gone. How am I supposed to dance now? Shoko. The children of the forest must have taken them again. If I had even one Korok seed, I could sing and dance and use my powers to help you. All right, great. Let's put the weapon away before I get struck by lightning. I'll be right back, Hestu. I want to just collect the things I knocked out of those. Oh, cool, I got Hestu's profile. Hell yeah. All right, anything else exciting? Yes, I got a lizard! <gasps> I got a beetle! Everything's coming up, Link! Ooh, what's that over there? What is that? And how did it get here? Weird. Okay, anyway, back to Hestu. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, now back to Hestu. Korok seeds. Korok seeds make a really great sound when you put them in maracas. Don't ask what part of the Korok they come out of, but the seeds spilled all over the place when I broke my maracas. And I think the children of the forest took the seeds while I was all in a panic. <laughs> Hang on. <gasps> do you have a Korok seed? You do! You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you give me a Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger. Yes, please. <laughs> So which stash do you want more slots in? Weapon stash, always first. Okay, I'll just need one Korok seed. Deal? Here you go. Let the expansion begin. Absolutely precious. So I choose to believe that Hestu cannot tell that Link is uh, the same Link that he talked to before because Link's hair is different. I think that Hestu does not recognize the difference between, like, he, he's kind of face blind when it comes to the people that aren't Koroks and don't have leaves for faces. So he, like, Hestu, I swear to God, if you leave immediately, okay, thank God. 
Um, so I choose to believe that uh, he like he does what a lot of face blind people do, and he like goes by like what their hairstyle is, uh, and like whether they're wearing glasses, like what color their hair is. So Link is like, okay, his hair is the same color, but it's a completely different style and a different length because it's been a few years. And so Hestu is like, wow, there was another blonde Hylian who could see me a few years back. That's wild. Anyway. Has to, I swear to God. God damn it. I wanted more shield spots. Ugh, okay, great. Hmm. Oh. A little close. Uh, let's see. What to do? I've got, like, another... 20? 10? 10 minutes, I think. 10 minutes before I sign off a little bit. His theory is that all blonde Hylians can see him. I also like that theory. Oh boy, let's see. Anything interesting over here? Anything interesting up there? There is that cave. Let's check that out. But I swear to God, if there's more like links in there, I'm gonna lose my shit. Hello, friend. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, show me the spooky cave. What's in the spooky cave? Oh my. This cave sure is spooky. And deep. And full of water. How strange. Okay, I think I'm gonna scooch after like 15 minutes. So if we do manage to hit 4k in 15 minutes, I'll scooch over to Hyrule Castle and see about getting the shield. But... If not, I will simply go to bed like an adult. Probably after drinking the rest of this tall glass of coffee that I don't want to waste. Oh, hello, shrine that I said I wasn't gonna... Mm. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I remember what's in this cave. And I really, 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 really don't want to deal with it right now. All right, we're just gonna make a break for it. We're gonna make a break for it. Ah! No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. Fuck off. Fuck all the way off, my friend. Off you must fuck. That's right. And your little dog, too. Yeah, I'm not exactly in the mood to get my shit pushed in by the Demon King, so... And I don't think this is one of the ones on a timer. I mean, it could be fun. It could be a little bit fun. Let's just, uh, let's just, first of all, let's eat. Second of all, let's save. He does have some pretty good weapons. A lot of them we can't use, but if he drops a bow, that would be pretty good. Of course, we have two points of armor, and, uh, oh, I forgot. We should change into our more fetching miniskirt. Where we have two points of armor instead of three. I'd just really rather not. And they're so annoying to fight. And that didn't do anywhere near as much as I wanted it to. And I don't really have that many bombs to spare. It's just a bad idea. It's just a bad idea. Oh, did I forget to save? Oh yes, let me also do that. <laughs> I was like, weird, I don't remember exploring this cave for some strange reason. Can't think why. I wonder what happens if we do this. Mm, but metal buds are so valuable and I don't want to waste them. <laughs> That also didn't do anywhere near as much as I wanted it to. Ugh, you guys are so annoying. And needy. And clingy. What's wrong with you guys? <sighs> yeah, how do you like them apples? Alright, 
Paws off. I'm a married man or something. Wow, that's really not doing all that much, is it? It's getting there. You know, it's working eventually. There's a lot of work just to fight Phantom Ganon. <laughs> Come on, guys, help me out here. Hey, hey, no touchy. See how much more fun this would be if they could scale vertical walls, too? Ugh, waste of all my arrows. Yeah, I know my bow is badly damaged, and whose fault is that? Oop! Well, see, now we're out of the fight. It's fine, it'll reload when we're still antagonizing it. That one's not even Phantom Ganon's fault. I can't be mad. Stop telling me about armor enhancement. I know. <laughs> Fellas? See, there he is. Hey, buddy. Howdy. What's cracking, big smacking? What's the hat? I love the creepy backwards music. It's very fun. You guys have an aesthetic and you know how to stick to it. Am I right? Yeah, this guy gets it. Oh, that didn't do anywhere near as much as I wanted it to. Guys, how am I supposed to shoot you if you're all clustered up right there? Come on, be reasonable, okay? Well, this is just silly. What would be cool is if they could, like, catch throwing projectiles and throw them back. I just think these things should be worse, you know? Just overall. I think realistically at this stage, I can barely even, like, get rid of these things to the point where I can fight the Phantom Ganon thing. But that's okay. This nightmare will always be here to call us home. See? Now he's feeling it. Are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? Uh, that really doesn't do much, does it? If anything. <sighs> Yeah, all right. We'll deal with this later. So long, and thanks for all the fish. Hmm. They really don't make it easy to get out of here, do they? Oh, just kidding. Yes, they will. All right, later, bud. Back for our showdown when I actually have bombs and more arrows. Oop. Well, we can't have that. We're much too close to making actual progress on this game. Get out of here. Hmm, is there anything exciting we can do over here? Anything terrifying we can pick fights with? Ah, realistically, not really. Yes, I am not even activating the shrine for the fast travel point because some people insist on holding me to my sworn oath or whatever where I don't do any shrines this day I just do a bunch of monster killing and generally make a nuisance of myself I'm just saying it would be so easy to not do that we could have shrines and and you know lorbs I could be recovering health by mechanisms other than eating food we wouldn't even need to get the hearts. We could just have them, but no. No. We are better than this. We must be strong. Oh, there's more of them than I realized. Okay. Oh, 
Alrighty. Well, there's another one here. Thing. Looks good. Here's my time. Great, now I can get shock roots. Hell yeah. No, let me up. I demand to be uppies. Thank you. Great, awesome. Ooh, and the chest? Is it my birthday already? Bloop. Okay, cool. Hmm. Ooh. Aha, uh -huh, sneaky sneaky. Now, how do we get this thing? Come on, I can't quite reach it. Alright, well, I'll get that in a second. I think we're gonna have to kill the soccer rod first. Hey, pal. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, a snail. Oh, I need an ow. Yay. <laughs> Perfect. Everything's coming up link today. Okay. Just grab that. Where's the thingy that I want? Ugh, come on! Why are you like this? This is so rude. Is it gonna make me make a raft? Ugh. Okay, well. Well, now I really want whatever is in there. <laughs> and then after that, I'll go to sleep. I guess there's like a wooden crate I could use, maybe? Maybe. Oh man, I was just swimming yesterday. Sometimes it really is this meditative. But I also don't have a stamina wheel that instantly drowns me when it depletes, which is nice and helpful. My man, I need you to climb on top of the box. Okay. <laughs> if I drown because of this, and I don't even get the fucking chest. All right, you know what? I have a cunning plan for when I never... Yep, okay. You know what, Link? I really feel like that one wasn't even my fault. Good work. Thanks, lifeguards. Okay, anyway, plan B. Cryonis. I wish we had Cryonis. A oh, sentence nobody has ever said in history of ever. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. No. Fuck. <laughs> okay. 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 This is stupid. Quick. There's still time! Fuck! <laughs> what in the Sam Hills? Okay, okay, okay. 
<laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> this is worse than the shrine or the, the shrines in the last game that were like motion control puzzles because it's a hell entirely of my own creation. <laughs> Uh okay. It's... wait a minute. Right. Oh, would you look at that. A flat sheet of wood, ideally designed for floating. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, I'll take those, thank you. Wow! Like, a truly astonishing amount of equipment for building a raft. That's wild. I don't need your pity. I just need the edge. Okay, now we're gonna make this work. Okay, great, awesome. Now, what tr marvelous treasures will we unleash? Sweet. I needed a new AA battery. Okay, let's go back to Lookout Landing. <laughs> Whoo, boy. Why did I get this shrine? Why was I okay with that last time? Why are my principles so flexible? Anyway, uh, thank you all for joining on this rather impromptu, but fun, uh, hot mess of a stream. Oh my god, okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, I had, a, I had a fun time with this, and I think if I bend my principles a little bit more, I could potentially do another one of these before we do the big one, the big fun one that you guys should all tune in for, because it's going to be really cool and exciting. Um, let's just climb on top of a nice high thing. You know, got to keep the brand going. Uh, yeah, uh... Hope you guys had fun. It was very, very cool of you dudes to fundraise over $3,000 for the uh, Actors and Other Entertainers Fund, the various people who are affected by the extremely good and good that it is happening writer's strike. Um, it's always fun to stick it to the man, especially when the man is being a real dick about it. Yeah, we're not getting there in time. There's literally no way. That's like entirely across the map. Okay, anyway. Well, uh, yeah, this was fun. I had a nice time, and I hope you guys did too. Um, oh boy, I gotta like sleep and then do a bunch of other stuff. You know how it is. Uh, but oh yeah, and uh, stay tuned for Friday. Uh, the video I have for that, I am very excited for, and I hope you guys like it. Uh, yeah, that's about me sorted. So I will see you guys the next time I stream. All right. Bye, everybody.